Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Let me just adjust the volume here. I was playing <clears> with it beforehand. Welcome to <throat> Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome. Where we play new games on classic consoles Yay. at 60 frames a second. Make sure you're set to 60 frames a second. <laughs> I want to welcome everybody in the chat room who are live with us and everybody who watches it later on YouTube. Because right. there are a lot of people who do that as well. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Z Game Czar uh ph4 we've decided to abbreviate his name to just ph4 because <laughs> i don't know how to say that and it's too long spelling all of them out uh he's supposed to um dan avc and everybody else who is hiding and not talking hi games are hello games are yes hi, welcome dan, ABC. dan avc said he was away for a bit but now he is back mm -hmm which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. I want to thank the uh, Twitch subscribers as well for uh, supporting us and showing their love. Um, Boy Lovers, uh, Census Taker, Coconut81, Dietrich Harms, Ground Trooper, I used to post Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco2600, can you, can I've you, got can an eye on, I've got one eye People on can him. see him, right? Yeah, yes. oh, they can see him. He's being a bad cat. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come Can you on, get him yeah. down from there? Pixel. Pixel. This is Pixel, and he's very, very bad. Seriously. He's climbing all over the equipment because he knows it'll get a rise out of us. <laughs> get a rise out of me, anyway. Yeah. So he knows exactly what to do. Uh, Dietrich Harms, Ground Trooper, Ice Post, to Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco2600, Matthew J G Santos M K Smith Mott, Mr Fix Muddy Funster Nathan Strom RC seventy Repentless VG Sir Cat Legs Spartan five eight one Spiceware S Ramirez two thousand eight the D Train thirty seven and Tiki Dan K. That's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot of people, and I want to thank all of them. And oh, I know you can get on this list too if you have Twitch, uh, Amazon Prime, and you just link it to your Twitch Prime and then click subscribe, and you can get your name read out as well. The games are says two kitties. Yes. Two kitties and one this, black and white one who is very this is, angry. This is Pixel. Yeah. Pixel. And the other one's cat. Atari. Okay. Be a good cat. He's like, no, look at those no. eyes. He's like, no, I'm not going to be a good cat. <laughs> Maybe we can just bother him enough that he'll be like, I don't want to be in here. It's too much. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to play uh, four games today. Yay. Uh, Kurt. Sorry. Uh, Kirby 2600. Uh, Keep Away. Bombs Away, and Tennis. So there's two Away games. Just mm, uh, an Away theme. <laughs> yes, and they're all older games. Um, all the homebrews are from 2009, 2010. And then we're going to do a uh, Activision Patch Challenge. Mm -hmm. Tennis. Okay. Just have to win a game. Win That's a it. game? A game against okay. the computer. It's oh. like Is that that, hard? that and hockey are the easiest patches to get, uh, I think. Okay. He's trouble. I just know it. <laughs> He's just burying just know amongst it. the cables right now. Um, so into the news and mail and feedback. Um, Dianoid posted today, and he messaged me today, about his third game. Mm -hmm. He just announced what it is. Um, he posted a screen cap, and it's called Fool's Gold. And he posted a screen cap in the Atari Age forums. And it's his uh, follow-up to his uh, game Tower of Rubble. Mm -hmm. And this is a port as well. It's a port of Load Runner, which has never fully been ported. Okay. Um, Daryl Spice Jr. did start mm -hmm. um, a port of it. Um, it was called... Damn it. Leprechaun. Okay. Because you have to collect gold in the game mm. in, uh, in Load Runner. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have to evade a bunch of other people that are running around after you. And I think you run about the same speed as them. And there's ladders and there's little ropes to climb along. And there's uh, bricks that you have to walk along, but you can destroy the bricks, like dig them up. Oh, okay. And the enemies fall in the bricks. Oh, okay. And they can lift themselves out of them. But if they take too long, they get swallowed up by the bricks oh. and appear back at the top again. Interesting. So you have to clear the screen of all the gold. Gotcha. And then climb upward. Yeah. Oh, Coconut81. Resubscribed. Thank you very much. You stay right here. No. You want to <laughs> be in here? You want to be in here? You have to 
succumb to the torture. Yeah. No, you stay right there. Good yeah, kitty. It's not going to last. <laughs> They've subscribed last. for two months, currently on a two-month streak. Thank you so much, Coconut81. Thank you. Um, so he posted the first screen cap, and he didn't he didn't say the, the name Load Runner, but it's it's supportive Load Runner, um, and it's a very natural progression, I think, from his last one because the characters move very similar. Mm. Um, they're like little tiny characters. They look like the characters in Tower of Rebel, but it looks like he's already copied the um, the sprites, the characters from Load Runner, very okay. very carefully, very just like he did in. Tower of Rebel, and they cool. look really, really cool. good. And he just posted a screen cap, not a video or anything. No, but it's coming. Yeah. It's very exciting. And um, I think a lot of code can mm -hmm. cross over because it's, you know, there's people, Similar movements kind of thing? Similar movements. I mean, there's going to be ladders in this one. The other one's walking. But the other one had falling as well. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of similarities, and there's bricks that break away. Mm -hmm. And he's done a very clever way of uh, making the ladders and making the the ropes as well um it's 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 very nice looking um so i'm sure the uh, smooth animation that he was able to achieve in tower of rebel will be able to be carried over and he is programming the game in uh cdfj architecture um which is the same architecture that john champo uses oh, and okay. daryl spice jr cool. um in galaga and mappy mm. um so it's a very um advanced and it also uses the arm uh, processor on the chip. Okay. The chip in in uh, the Harmony cart. Okay. So looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, Coconut one posted some cat images yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> two cats, two cats in litter boxes and clapping. Yeah. <laughs> my cat is meowing at my feet for anything I'm eating or drinking. Yop and yop. Oh my god, I haven't heard that word <laughs> in a <laughs> long time. Chocolate chip cookies. Nope, she gets none. No. Nope. None, none nope. for you, cat. I don't yep. think either of those things. I guess yop might be okay. Definitely not chocolate chip. <laughs> mm -hmm. But some kitties want everything, right? Yep. Just like um, Atari. Atari will eat anything. anything. Like anything. hot sauce on a plate. He'll, he'll just... lick it up, which is just blows my mind. Oh my god. Yeah. He's eating Indian food and he's like, yep, yep. give me more. Yep. 50% <laughs> off yeah. yop. Are they clearing out their uh, yeah. <laughs> inventory from the 80s? Yeah, maybe. Um, uh, another game uh, that was just announced that it's being released today mm -hmm. um, Pro Bowling. I don't know if you got to play the bowling game by Edward mm -hmm. Smith. I might have seen the video, but I don't think I played it. Yeah. Um, it's, 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 yeah. So it was uh, released today on Cartridge by Good Deal Games. Um, the description on the Good Deal Games site says, Larry Kaplan's bowling game for the VCS in 1979 was good for the time, but this new 2019 release will really bowl you over. Mm. Terrible. <laughs> um, so uh, it's a really good bowling game, and he like released it, in like two days and then he was done and, mm. and it's really good that's it, awesome. it's only single player unless he's added to it mm. um i think that was such a suggestion mm. that we gave mm. um but you know you can play one after the other person and just write down your score it doesn't take long to do you know 10 frames of, of a bowling game mm. so it's a really really good bowling game um and the mysterious uh developer called uh simo mm. Uh, Simone, what's their last name? Um, anyway, they put out a new game compilation video okay. on YouTube. Mm. Uh, this person put out a lot of games er earlier in, oh, I would say five, ten years ago. Okay. And then disappeared. Okay. <laughs> haven't, haven't mysterious, logged. Mysterious, very mysterious. Very mysterious. We've yeah. talked about them before. Mm. Um, they haven't been on the Atari, Atari Age forum for I want to say uh, at least five years. Hmm. Um, I've messaged them there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> saying, hey, I'd love to play your games on the show. Yeah. Um, no response. They just might not be looking at it much anymore. So, yeah. They definitely aren't looking at yeah. it at yeah. all because mm -hmm. they haven't logged in. Um, but they do have... What is going on, cats? They do have a YouTube channel, which they post to semi-regularly. Okay. But then delete videos shortly oh. after. So, uh, Simone Sarah, thank you very much for the, for the full name. Uh, this one, this new game, this new video that they put out um, is called Play Fields Volume 2. Mm. But they've been doing this for a while. 
Um, maybe this is this is the last video they're going to release before they actually put it out there. Okay. They're wrong. Yeah, cool. Um, they've had their games on uh, cartridge before. Oh, do I have a cartridge available? Yeah, I do have one of their cartridges as well. Um, they've put out a compilation before, but this is a new compilation. There is the video. Uh, Coconut 81 is now hosting you. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but thank you very much for hosting yeah. me. It sounds very... Uh, Hospitable. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to show the video now. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just. No, I've, I've downloaded it because um, they've taken to um, deleting their videos. So you have to download their their yeah, videos before, before they dis disappear. Before they disappear, like ah, it's very very. Thank uh, you, Coconut Eighty One. Yeah. Yeah, this stream shows up on their page if anyone goes there. Oh, so That's it's nice. like a relay almost, like it's. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. That is very cool. Um, so here is uh, the video of Simone's, Simone Sarah's mm -hmm. uh, new compilation game. And they've been posting individual games. Okay. And I think this is the full culmination of all of them. Mm -hmm. So there's five of them there. Uh, Crude Doris Gabber 148B, which is music, I believe. <clears throat> uh, Pitch and Catch and Tint. Um, so... There is some um, digitized robotic voice talking about the video. So. This is the second volume of binaries I have developed for the Atari 2600. So it's sound like, like this, that introduction sounds like they're going to put it out. It's mm. like here, here it is, but they haven't released any binaries in so long. Mm. Um, but this just came up. This, this video. Direct the three nice. cleaning yeah. pointers across the memory area and remove the errors that pop up before the timer runs out. Collect the hourglass to partially restore the timer. So you are, in this one, you're the blue guy. You can switch between them by pressing the button, I'm guessing. And we've shown this one on the stream before. And you just clean up all those little errors, those little dots. Yeah. But you can switch, and you have a time limit at the bottom, right? Well, I guess that's extra time. Cool. And when you're, when you want it, when one of them is close, you can switch to that one, right? And then in the meantime, the other one's just randomly. Cats, cats upstairs. upstairs. The cats are knocking things over upstairs. <laughs> Terrible cats. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with so that. So let's she forward has... that one. <laughs> Get the idea of that one. Oh, the volume is a bit loud on the YouTube. Help Doris collect hearts before the timer runs out but watch out as she has to be the same color of the heart or it will be game over also avoid contact with the platforms if you don't want doris to be teleported in a random position with a random color and we've shown this one on this on the stream before as well um Similar, except you. Oh, <laughs> mm. You have to change color of your character, and oh, you change your yeah, character's color. Yeah, by apparently gotcha. uh, dapping. If you watch the character and they change color. Oh really? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> but it's cool. So wow. you have to do two things at once: um, yeah. avoid, avoid and change color. Nice. Um, looks that's like this cool. That's fun. Sides of the screen show what level you're on, so they're on yellow level, and the things going down the screen. Reminds me of Commodore 64 because they've got the stripes on both sides. Mm -hmm. The borders on the Commodore 64. Borders, yeah. Oh, got smashed. Thank but, you, Nathan Strom, for uh, resubscribing. Oh, another resubscriber. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Nathan. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll fast forward to that one. This one going to Gabber. Gabber is a small demo that uses the audio registers of the Atari 2600 to simulate the distorted bass drum of hardcore dance music. This would be an audio. Be pretty... pretty good. Mm. A little hard to watch, but pretty good. <laughs> Ball to yep, so that's just music. Yeah. Cool. So, right, so sure. The next one's pitch and catch. Throw the ball to your so. receivers and reach the goal zone to score a point. But watch out for the blocky blocker, 
who will try to intercept the ball and stop your receivers. The game can be played by one or two players, and it features a play editor. Mm. So, cool. football y type yeah. game? Oh, oh, you can plan out the movements. Oh, this is. I think I need more instructions for this. <laughs> route one, route two, practice, clear. Three attempts, one at five. Oh boy. Very complex. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. Um, um, Simo, strategy. Strategy. Simo Mike writes the most. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, voice. Wow. So built in voice. And that wow. voice doesn't sound like it's mm. like it's uh, digitized. It sounds like that voice is created. And I, I maybe maybe not somebody out there. Maybe I supposed to can let let me know what they think about that voice because I know I thought I saw Simo doing a demo of voice. Types of voice, like mm. sounds, voice sounds. Mm. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Um, yeah, Use it's nice to see uh, Simo making games. Still curious to why he's not publishing them. And prevent your fuel like, tank from running out. He doesn't have a website. Mm. He Watch out. Go to Tari H. He doesn't have post to use the right the, form of your vehicle, um, uh, depending Facebook, on the terrain type. Anywhere, the car anywhere can move on the road, online. while the airship can move over water. Um, we've seen this one as well. Trying to navigate I, I think across we've seen the all map of these, but with all the separately. wrong vehicle type will hamper Boy, your sounds like Hubert a bit. Yeah. Yeah. consume your fuel at a but quicker rate. I think rate. it's synthesized. I swear I saw some program playing with sounds to simulate that, and I swear it was Simo. We've played it on the show before. It was like really, really impressive. And this one uh, switches between a driving and a flying. Oh. And if you're not in the right mode, you go slower in that area. Oh, so you don't fall through. You just. You never fall through. You just go slower. So you don't fly over the white and you don't drive over the blue. Okay. And so you have to keep up and get all the things. So really oh. cool. So a switching. Neat. Instead a switching of, back and forth. Kind instead of, of colors. So they could have made it colors. Yeah. You could have made it blue and white or whatever. That would actually get confusing. But yeah, really, uh, really cool. Hmm. So I think that's the end of that. I just posted it says cool. phenomes, parts of speech. That's what it was. There oh, was phonemes. Oh, phonemes. Phonemes. Sorry. Yeah. Phonemes. Phonemes. Uh, yeah, there was a demo. I swear it was by Simo that mm. was released that I played on the show. Mm. Maybe it was part of one of his compilations mm. that had phonemes. Just it was very randomish though, mm. like it was creating them randomly, making the noises. But it sounds like speaking he, like random, like like, like sounds, gibberish almost. It was sounded like gibberish, but oh. it was human-like okay. noises that could be made with vocal cords but it was just random mm -hmm. so it looks like he has perfected it into cool. sounds wow which is unbelievable yeah um if anybody remembers um on the c64 a program called sam also did that as mm -hmm. well it wasn't pre-recorded it was made using the the chip itself the chip itself mm -hmm. and it sounds like he's perfected using the chip of the atari 2600 mm -hmm. That's really a big development, actually. <laughs> um, and it's well, well, it's things are going on in the screen as well. Not much is going on the screen. It's just that little thing in the middle. Mm. So it'll be interesting to see if they can, um, it can be done while a full screen of video can be played at the same time. Mm. I have a gibberish program someone helped me with makes uses very little data, data compared to samples. Mm. Yeah, it would. Because once you've got the basics of S and T and all the, all the different sounds that map of sounds. Remember we watched that video? I think that was just vowels though, of uh, pronunciations. Oh yeah, the that guy on Wired who talks about pronunciation and accents and often criticizes actors' accents in movies, yeah. did one all on vowel sounds and, and he had this big map of vowel sounds. It was, it was I mean, if, if you haven't seen his videos are fascinating. 
Yeah. Um, and then that one with the with the map of of, of sounds and the so and the, the placement and... of the tongue. Yes. Was really cool. It was yeah. really really neat. So. Don't know his name off the top of my head, but no. you just look up Wired. I think it's probably one of his videos are probably their highest. Yeah, wa- like have the most view- views, like yeah. millions of views. Wired so. accents. Yeah. So look yeah. for those two things. Anyway, really, really interesting. I digress, but that those so, those are really cool. <laughs> I've also left a message on uh, Simone Sarah's uh, mm. YouTube page mm. as well. That's the only place that you mm. can contact them. Um, so maybe nothing will come of it. Maybe he'll ignore me. Maybe he's building up to this big release. And it's like, here, the games are done. And it looks like they're completely done. Um, so I have actually placed the order now for the 2019 Atari Awards. <laughs> this is the 2018. Yeah. Um, Very cool. Yeah. So it's going to be the same design yeah, as go. that. Oh, you can maybe bring it a little bit closer. Very wide angle. There we go. Oh, whoa. Yep. That's perfect. Um, so that's the 2018. So it'll be the same design, except it'll say 2019 Atari Homebrew Awards at the top. And then it'll say celebrating the best in Atari Homebrew instead of Atari 2600, because we're branching out to 7800, an 8 bit, and 5200. Nice. And so I've placed the order for the Very awards. Cool. Um, so they should show up Thank sometime. You, RC70. Yes. Movie accent expert breaks down uh, thirty-two yes. actors' accents, and there's a whole Tons bunch of those of videos. Them. I think he's done about five or six. So now. yeah, you'd it's be really, entertained really for good. hours and yeah, hours. Really, really good. Yeah. Um, so that should be coming in say a month or so. So mm-hmm. we'll pick them up from Exciting. our Dropbox in yeah. the U.S. <laughs> yeah. Just our our run across the border. <laughs> yeah, because they won't they won't ship to Canada. No. But they'll ship well, to within. If, if they did, it would be extremely expensive. I think that was it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and a YouTube viewer mm-hmm. alerted me to some buzzing noises that was on the show last last show and previous the shows. One or? Uh, just he didn't say which oh, okay. shows, but uh, he pointed out like specific timestamps oh, where it was buzzing in the last episode. Okay, okay. So I listened to them and went, oh, "What could that be?" Um, so I deduced that it might be the Atari Vox, which is still plugged in and on. Okay. But it was intermittent. So, so not not consistent. Not consistent. Okay. So I've unplugged that until we get every, everything back up and running again. Okay. Um, could have been the Frame Meister as well, which I've muted now as well. So mm. we'll see if uh, he complains again. Uh, but uh, if if you do hear it again, just um, let let you know. Let me know with the timestamps, and I can listen to it as yeah. well. Um, so we're gonna get into the games, and the first one is kirby 2600 and it is the kirby mm. that you're thinking of rc70 seemed like every time you were doing stuff on the computer oh it might be related to you okay now don't say anything for a second well, that's the clicking with my mouse okay well we'll see we'll investigate that that's that might be true some interference mm. Um, would that be ba- because of the screens or I thought it was the Phoenix audio it, mm. it could have been that as well from last episode because they did point that out and we were plugged in at the same time um, so I'll give you the controls Oof. there you go big in, yeah. yep. so this one is Kirby 2600 by Atari 2600 Land uh, who is a prolific programmer nice. of uh, basic games uh aka uh so chris reed aka 2600 land oh you can do it yourself there that's what cool uh click it oh (laughs) click it there you go nice there we are um oh that's a pink kirby pink kirby and it (laughs) links every once in a while as well um let me just get up the graphic there we go that's better Okay, so this was posted uh, first in May 21st, 2009, and this build is from October 20th, 2010. Um, so you can jump right into it. Level 2, Ice. I don't know how you get to level one. Let's just turn down the volume a little bit. Sorry, oh, sorry. Um, you're interfering with me. <laughs> yeah, Why I is am. nothing happening? Check, 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 check. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So, just like in the Kirby games, oh. you can fly. 
it looked like level one. Did it? It kind of looked like a two, but it was a kind of a crazy font, so it might have been one. Uh, this is a 16K game. It says, if you read my blog yesterday, you've been noticing that I've been working on a Kirby game. Oh, how did it go over? This is a page. Uh oh, hacking the game. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, this is a page for its updates. I'm going to change the name of the game as well as the color of the character when I'm done to differentiate it from Kirby when I'm finished. But I'm leaving alone for now. Oh. All I have left for 4K is a title screen song, and then it'll be moved to 8K. Good thing I now have the main in-level engine mostly done. I've added some in-game music for the first level, which has three screens so far. Um, he never did change the name of the game, because um, he kind of gave up after a while. But this is the final version of the game. Ooh, the music is rough in this one. <laughs> it's okay. Um, what am I doing? Am I supposed to go down? Uh, I don't think there's anything to collect. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you fell off the ledge. Well, I kept going to the right, and it just seemed to repeat, repeat? itself. Repeat? Oh, okay. That's okay. That's a one? It, it could like be, to me, but... but it has a very flat bottom, so it could be a one or a two. It's a mix between them. Uh, today's update, I had to make it, this is on May 22nd, I had to make it 16k, but only less than half of you so far. Oh. I would like to make a 64k cart, but Batari Basic won't let me. So until it does, I can only make a 32k. Anyway, there's eight screens now, with the eighth repeating over and over again. There's death, so falling down a hole will mean you will die and can't walk into the clouds anymore. I've added an instruction PDF document with this zip file, which also has the binary and uh, Atari basic file. <laughs> I've added something major. Kirby can fly, just like in the NES, for NES version. To make him do this, press up while you're jumping up. Uh, Kirby will then turn into a ball-like creature. Keep him aloft by pressing up continuously. When you want to land, press down until you hit a ledge or the ground. Also, the game now has 11 screens. The 11th one just repeats over and over. Reworked uh, May 26th, re reworked the code. Nothing will seem different, except for two screens. I've added to the end. My plan is to have each level be 50 screens, followed by a level boss. Oh, I think that white is something to do with you, not a, not a ledge. No, that's not a ledge, but the with the blue thick lines you can land on. Oh, okay. But Maybe land on can, that I, I at other I, side? I don't so that it kind of finishes the level. Well, give it a try. Walk off the edge. <laughs> nope. Uh, no new screens, but I, uh, May 27th, but I did change the title screen to read Kirby 2600 with two zeros blinking eyes. I also added a game over screen. Uh, May 28th, while playing Kirby Dreamland for inspiration, it occurred to me that sucking and blowing up blocks is kind of a Kirby game staple. Uh, so starting this version, I've included it, although the blocks you can suck up, are, suck up aren't on every screen. Also, sucking up the blocks and spitting them out will be the way to defeat the level 1's boss. Bosses will have their very own houses with doors, like in level 1 of Kirby's Dreamland. There's a, there's a bug in it. Oh, is that why you keep dying on this Yeah, level? because I, I go into the wall for some reason. Oh. <laughs> you go into the wall up there, uh, the and then you one? die. Yeah. Oh. That's funny. So, I'm supposed to suck up blocks. How am I supposed Down? To what was that? Down and button? Down and button? What was that? I don't know. How did you just do that? Up. Up and just up. It's okay. just up when you're up. I don't think so either. Because you're losing it as you die. <clears throat> I don't know if this is le like. Let me try and change the levels. The white, uh, the bottom white bar is your power. Yeah, okay. the bottom one. It makes sense. I suppose this is. I like the music. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's cute. I don't mind the music. I'm just trying to figure out. Am I supposed to suck something up? Uh, I don't see any blocks. Your goal, once I get the boss's house up and running, which will be a while because I'm only halfway done with level 1, is to hit the tree with the blocks while avoiding the enemies he spits out at you. This version I've uploaded starts on screen 22. 
um, with the block, so it's sort of a test to see if I can actually do this. Tomorrow's version will start at the beginning. Hopefully, think up more screens and put them there. No blocks to suck up. So Maybe how far there's another you... level I'm supposed to be on. Oh, that hurt you. Oh, that hurt you more. Yeah. So let's try mm -hmm. these keys. See if there's some sort of this first might... level? This might be like a later level. It might be. Let's see if I can switch somehow to another level. Mm. Oh. No, none of that does anything. Um, let's try an earlier version. There we go. I think that was just a, uh, a demo of level two, an early version of it. I think you can only suck up blocks. Let me try. What's happening? What if it's like the other Kirby games where you just fly through the whole level and you're fine? Oh yeah, you, <laughs> you can fly through the whole level. Because there's not much point in going on the ground if you can just fly over all of the enemies. I think that's just for the bosses. Uh, that one you won't be able to fly completely over. Of course you won't. No, I mean like without having to dodge it. Oh. Uh, funny. <clears throat> he couldn't figure out what went wrong with his code on the update. Yeah. He released a stand uh, game levels as standalone programs. Uh, okay. So this one is more of the full game. The other one was a standalone of level two. Ugh. Oh. Oh, he almost got hit again. Oh, we want to see the end of level one. Oh, no. pit! That's not a platform. I know, I... It shouldn't be brown. No, it should I, be I tried to jump. That's all. Or pink or something, because that would be so much easier. See, you to... can just fly through all the levels. There's no point in landing on anything. <laughs> not really. That's how the Kirby games work too. Oh, too uh. close. Too close. Welcome, Arena Foot. Ah! Just trying to position him properly so he doesn't um kind of get stops. He kind of stops, so <laughs> Does he? Yeah. Let me see if there's an end to this level. Ah. Oh my god. Oh, ah. oh something ran happened. Of, ran out of music. <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. Um, Atari 2600 Land has made hundreds of games. Yeah. Um, Kate, hand it over if you can. All right. Enough. No, no, no. I want to see the end enough. of level one and see if it uh, goes scratch to level Scratch my two. eye. It does mean I was <laughs> giving up. Just avoidance. You don't have to land on anything. You can just keep floating along. Yeah. He looks like the guy from Cubert with the big nose. Or Cubert oh. with the big nose. Yeah, Cubert has a big nose. Yeah. Oh, smiley rolly face. Mm -hmm. Looks like the uh, guy from uh, Mr. Yo-Yo, a, a new game that's coming out. Whoa! Oh, that's a very short. Go down, too. Oh, I guess so. Oh, <laughs> that's dangerous. No. No, no. No, it's not that hard. You just go in a straight line. You can't go in a straight line. Yes, you can. No, he falls down. No, he doesn't. It's when not he that floats. Hard. No, it is hard. No, it's not Because there's gravity. Oh my god. Yeah. See, you were making fun of me. It's not that easy because he kind of, kind of he jitters all. He jitters place. a little. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! That one goes on different levels. Very nice. <clears throat> oh, Kirby. changes in a, a blob. It's a very long level. Lots of... Ver oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you suck up? Is that, the, is that the boss? Yep. Oh, well you got the boss. <sighs> of course I started with less lives. Got to 
play the boss for two seconds. Ooh. Much of a threat. Spiky wall. Now their threats come. Yeah. yeah. That's when they're three and there's not much space between them. Very long levels. I'd probably reduce. It gets a little repetitive. <laughs> but I mean, he's long done. He's abandoned this game, so. Is he? Yeah. He doesn't stay on a game for very long. No. Just you kind does of, it for a little I, bit. You kind of wish he would jump and float down, you know, kind of like Mario. Oh, yeah. Because so you can't it's stay just up? a little too too easy to just glide yes. along the top, but yeah. so. Yeah. The close ones are hard. Because you just fit in between them. I'm militant Buddhist. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Mm. No scoring. No, I don't. No. I, there's no scoring there's in this at all. There's nothing to do. Maybe you want to make it yeah. to the boss? Maybe, but it's zero, zero, zero the whole way. So it's not like, like you're getting something for each level you pass. Right, each screen. Unless you're supposed to, like, kill those bad guys, but there are Something. no blocks to throw at them. You can't no. suck them up, either. No. No. That's quite a noise. I do, like, part of the music. I do like the Kirby <laughs> movement. Um, yeah. He almost needs more obstructions in his way. Yeah, you know? like walls to, yeah, that you have to go around. That you have to go around, because right now you just float along the top, so if there were spikes hanging down or something, that would make it more challenging. You might be more inclined to jump from platform to yes. platform instead of just floating but around. The actual Kirby games are like this, too. Well, yeah, that's true. Okay. But, I mean, it's all about the points, right, in the Kirby games. Ah. Ah. What are you doing? You have to hit, hit the tree. The tree? I thought you have to hit the bird. No. Well, Avoid it's not... the bird. Oh, you're getting points. No, you hit the bird for points. Oh. Sure. Yeah. It always goes towards the tree, though. I don't know. No, it doesn't. No, you got points. You got points. No, maybe not. Nope. This is very confusing. <laughs> is this? A, is this? Did he complete the boss level or no? I can't remember what you said. He may not have, because nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. But somehow you got two hundred <laughs> points. Did you get two hundred points just for getting to the boss level? Uh. Maybe. So. And no matter where you are, you can suck up a bit. Yeah. Ah, but it does block you. And it looks like there's like things up at the top for like how much damage the tree is. It's yeah, but you tree. you were on top of that before. Do you remember? You walked on top of that. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Can you can you go on top I'm of it and die. attack the tree, or oh, you can't you can't float up if you have it in your mouth. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know what you do. With that. Can I get to level two? I thought that was the other build. This level two. Ice level. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I don't think he completed the boss. <laughs> mm -hmm. I take it this is a highly incomplete game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it, it, it appears is. to be fairly. It cool. has a lot of promise, though. There are a lot of neat things in it. Like the movement of Kirby is really good. Yeah, it is really good. And the, the sucking up of the block and the enemy. Yeah. Charles Reese says, uh, can you jump and hit the tree? No, you can't jump and I have landed the block. On the tree. No. But you can't have the block in your mouth, unfortunately. So. No. Um, There's no reason you couldn't have the block in your mouth. Because yeah. it doesn't prevent you from pressing up. It just does nothing when you press up. When you have the block in your mouth. Song is, song's gone. Because he's sucking. Yep. He's sucking air. <laughs> but uh, that that is an issue, unfortunately, with the Atari Twenty Six Hundred Land. He gets he, he has so many games, and then he just kind of peters out. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna go do another one. But he's got a lot of really good concepts mm. that um, I even like the the, the different uh, bad guys on each level. Oh, oh, you can suck them up. I just and you got a hundred points. Oh, maybe oh, I can well suck up the bird. Now that makes more sense. Maybe I can suck up that oh, bird. Maybe you can try. He, should I go all the way to the end again? Well, I think you should try to One suck up time. other things. <laughs> yeah. I'll try and suck up the other enemies. Yeah, you have to do I don't that. Know if I can... No, he's too, too far. far. Yeah. 
too far away. Oh my god. <laughs> we had a little trouble at the ledge. Ah. There are some more rolly things coming up. I think you have to be pretty close to them. I think all the bad guys kind of disappear after a while. Yes. <laughs> I think you have to suck them up at the beginning. Oh, there's one. You just have to be sucking while they run into you. Yeah. That's the thing. That's pretty easy. Which is not a bad mechanic. It's, it's, no, it's a lot harder. No, it'd be hard. hard otherwise. I mean... Not impossible, but harder to, to program. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. That's cool. That adds a bit more to the... Oh my god, these are the short ones. There we go. Oh, one more chance. Get one more before I think we're nice. almost to the end again. You know, if you aren't watching the screen, the conversation is way different in nature. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Double entendre. It's a French thing. <laughs> it's a French thing. <laughs> Double entendre. I guess entendre is a word in English? Um, well, really? it's listen, but... Yeah. Ah! Maybe if I do this while he touches me. Ah, well that makes it easy. Well, no. Uh, he doesn't hurt me oh, when I'm sucking. You, that's weird. Oh, it's working now. Oh, you have to kill the guy and then shoot the block. Weird. Oh, that's Never weird. Never would have thought of that. Yay! Oh, 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 the tree's tear. crying! That's really nice. Yeah. Aw, oh, Kirby's. Look at the Kirby's dance. Oh, I made it to level, level two. two. Oh. oh, this is way different than the other. The other build wasn't working then. No. Look at this. Nice. Okay. Well, this is a lot bigger obstacle. That's you have to suck actually him. hard. Suck him up. Suck ah. him. Ah. Yeah, that oh, was glitch. I'm... That was glitchy. Yeah, I'll try and suck him up. Ah, oh, maybe I you can't. I... Oh, I was pressing the wrong direction. Nice. There we go. Oh, he comes oh, back! He comes back. Ah! 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 Oh my god. You don't have much time then. Oof. Ooh. Okay, now this has a ceiling. So this is really what. This is much more challenging. Yeah. Oh my god, it's very difficult to do this on the ice. Okay, what should oh. I do? Run! Run! Underneath it though. Yeah! Oh, he's, he's very difficult to take off. On the ice. Yeah? A little bit harder. Gets all glitchy. Interesting. Hey, so I'm glad we tried Worked that again. out, yeah. Well, you were the one saying, no, no, you can't suck them up. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't, but you can. You didn't say anything about enemies, but... Uh, I suppose this ice level should be mandatory. Well, they always appear always. to be. Always. Oh, my God. This one, he said it was slippery in his instructions, but it's not. Not slippery at all. Mm, doesn't seem as, as it's bad. it's harder to take off. Maybe that's what he meant. Yeah. Well, it's got some barrier. Because if you do this, what about that white platform there? Is it any different? Is the white platform slippery? Oh, that one up, up there. No. Same. No, you stop instantly. Oh, you can actually take off from it. Easier. Mm. Uh, or not? Or do you slide when you land? Oh, I was just doing it wrong. What? See, I was pressing up and then the button. What you do is oh. you press the button and then up. Yeah, when you, you jump off. and then up. And then yeah. yeah. So, never mind that glitchiness. That's just me. This is the same level of, over and over. Was it completed, level two? That yeah, might be an issue. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be changing. <laughs> no. So you got a bit of it. You got the snowman. Well, the snowman was cute. Yeah. I like the snowman. That'd be a really good boss at the end, is a snowman, and you have to throw white snowballs at him? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna end. No. Nope. <laughs> what do you think? Should I give up? I would, yeah, but... This is repeated. It just... It, I, it, nothing has changed, so... Try falling off a ledge. Yeah, there's no ledges. No, no, no. the left? Oh, like there? No, there. No, no, oh, no, it, it. oh, I see. Sorry, that is actually Can't make it over there. Ah. That's really unfortunate he didn't finish this game. 
But if anybody wants to make a Kirby-like game, here's a good well, template for level. it. Well, there's one level. I mean, the one level isn't bad at all. But... No, a little repetitive. Eh. At least, maybe, you, maybe at least there's some, some diversity of uh, bad guys, and then you actually have a boss at the end, and Kirby does a yeah. little dance. Very cute. I love it. It's just like the... Ah! Just like the Kirby games. Ugh. <laughs> He doesn't really have lives. He more has, uh... Um, yeah, he's a power bar. Power bar, yeah. Yeah, so it would kind of like lives. Uh, oh, you just restarted? No. It, uh, it's, it's power. You lose just a bit of power. No, no but then he went back to 100% power. Yeah, because oh, he lost, there's game lost a life. And then it's oh, gotcha. full power. So power bar. Kirby's yeah, yeah, limbo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Charles <laughs> Reese. That is yeah, correct. very true. So, very cool. Yeah, oh. that was fun. I wish there was more. That's what I, all I can yeah. say about that one. But uh, yeah, that's a really very cool game. Um, so the next one we're going to be playing is called Keep Away. And I believe it's two players. So let me get my controller out. Mm -hmm. um, it's by John A. Redder, a.k.a. Neurotic. Um, it's from 2009. It's a 4K game. Other games he's made, Handy Pick Hank, Casey's Crazy Nightmare, Keep Away Shield, mm. Shifter, which we played, Strip Off, which we played, Strip Off 2, and UFO. Mm. And you can download this from uh, Tactical Neurotics, Tactical Neuronics site. Mm. Um, Keep Away, let's load it up. graphic because he's actually got a cover for it there we go nice um it, he says uh it was my attempt to pay homage to the system that started it all i'm trying to recapture those 30 year old memories in a two-player game designed for the atari 2600 console objective when the two players fight for the puck the highest player wins uh mm. oh highest like on the screen maybe mm. the top and the bottom of the play field Oh, yawning. Mm. Our fumble areas. The player with the puck moves slower. Deliver the puck to your goal to, to score. Deliver it to the other player's goal to give them a point. I don't think you want to do that. No. Lose a point if the other player scores. Four points wins the match. So you're, you're pulling it to your own goal. Press button. Oh, I can't go. Oh, now I can't go. Oh, you're, oh, yeah, you bring it to your own goal. Which goal? Which is mine? You're purple. Yeah, but which is I'm my blue. goal? Uh, yours is on the left. How do you know that? Okay, let's just try it. You get the puck, bring it to there. There, you got a point. Let me even it up. Hey, 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 hey. Let me <laughs> even it up. Hey! <laughs> there we go. Okay, fight. <laughs> oh. oh, I put it to your goal! <laughs> so you lost a point. There we go. It's very fast. <laughs> it's a movement. very unusual. Uh, it, it's funny because when you have the puck, you move very slowly. <laughs> uh, oh, how did I get over there? I don't know. I think you shot me. I think I did. Oh. Ah. Oh. Why, why is it why is it not going to my goal there we go Woo! Oh, 2009 purple points? rules oh, no, 2009 <laughs> when it was made oh my goodness that is fun <laughs> first button noisy okay uh it moves too fast yeah it's 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 it's, it's manic it's, it is manic. I kind of like that, though. You do? Yeah. It's crazy. It makes it hard. And when when you have it, you move really slowly. Why is it not not registering? There we go. So you have to touch touch it, not go around it. Oh, it has to touch in a very specific spot. Oh. It does. There we go. How do we both drop it? I don't understand how we both drop it. Oh, yeah, I just yeah, gave yeah, you a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Press button. It's a very annoying bzzz at the end. Oh, I actually got it. Oh, you get it on your side, I see. Oh. I can't get it. <laughs> ah. When 
you shoot the other player, they appear on their own end. I don't know why this they have is to so root. hard sometimes. It's it is very manic. <laughs> it's very manic. It's like it's like I'm putting it on the wrong side. No. Oh, almost. Got it. Oh. It's so crazy. Stop it. I would say it's quite even the way it uh, makes you slow down when uh, you have the puck. Oh, I just scored on you. I scored on myself. There we go. Oh. <laughs> so you have to beat the other person by four goals. Yeah. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I dropped it. How did yeah, I? Yeah, I don't it? know. You do. You, you sometimes you do just drop it. <laughs> it's like fumble. Yeah. I just drop it. Oh. oh my god. It's it's like it's 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 like oiled up or something. <laughs> I, I, I can't quite figure out why you sometimes just completely drop the thing. Well maybe you can't hold on for it for too long. I don't know. It is chaos. Ooh, it is chaos. I think it's too fast. Yeah, and and it's yeah. Just get rid of that noise. Um yeah, when you're moving, I think it's way too fast because I'm going around it in circles. Yeah. I think if they slowed that down, I think when you've got it, it's fine speed. You will you slow down when you have it. You, you don't just, move very quickly when you have it. Even right? that's a bit fast. I think but if even they that, slow you down can't the whole control game, the the up and down very very no, precisely. It's too fast. Like I find, look how fast he moves. Yeah, it was craziness. So, it's like. Uh, hey. No, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just looking. Like I move way more slowly. Can you steal it from me? Yeah, yeah. you can. If I'm above you, I have to be a higher than you. And, okay. And get it. So if I'm below you, like oh, no, I, you can. Oh, I said in the instructions you couldn't. Let me read it again. I'd have killed my console. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Uh, two players. Goal is to grab the puck. You gain a point. Blah, blah, blah. The game ends when two, four players. Shooting a player will make them drop the puck and warp to their corner. The top and bottom of the play field are fumble zones, and you may lose your puck. Oh, if you hit the bottom, that's how you lose it. Look. Oh, okay. You have to touch the top or the bottom. That's so if what you I was avoid doing. it, then you're okay. Oh, that makes sense. To take the puck from the other player, you must run through them while your player is higher on the screen. But that's a lie. Uh, yeah. Watch. Because... I'm. Oh. Oh, maybe you have to high. go up a little. <sighs> yeah, but I oh. got it. Hmm. Try and get it from me while being lower. Oh, no, that's true. Whoever's the highest but if you... person. If you pass through them and you go up, yes. then, then, then you basically So you have to it. be higher at some point mm. than them. Whoever's, like if we're both touching, whoever's the highest gets it. Well, that's not no, true. No, that's Look not at this. true. You're lower. Yeah. It's not, not a... Oh, now you're not. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I was having it, getting it for a little bit there, but now it's not. Yeah. Funny. So it's not 100%. Oh, it's going back and forth between us. It's freaking out. Oh, see, see you're lower. getting it from me. That's that's what bizarre. So there's a little bit of a bug there. Because if I'm passing you to the left, I'm I'm grabbing it. Remember how slow combat plays? Yeah, combat plays really slow. This now, is like the opposite oh, of, of it. Yeah. If I wonder if there's any settings. Hmm. Eh, no. Let's try that. Hmm. No, still fast. Yeah, if they slowed both of them down, I think that would have been a bit better. Are we actually playing? No. <laughs> Yay, we won! <laughs> Keep away! Oh, it's good. I like it. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. It, just because of the speed, I don't think we could play it for too long. It just gets it's really fun, frustrating. Though. It's fun. It's a good, it's a good concept. No sound either. Mm. Was there? No. Oh, there's the title screen. That's cool. 
Um, so, eh, eh. I liked it. It's, I liked the concept. It's a very good of it. concept. Yeah, a little yeah. bit more tweaking would have been uh, good. But I mean, the fact that it is a little frantic is makes it fun sometimes. I mean, yeah. I, you wouldn't want to play it for a long time, but no. it's fun. I like that. Um, so next one's called Bombs Away mm -hmm. by in, from 2010 by Steve Engelhart, aka Atarius Maximus, from March. Second, he first posted it, and this one is from March 12th. This is a 16k game. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me load it up. This one, two games with a way in the title, just just random. by coincidence. Pure coincidence. Yeah. Uh, bombs away. There we go. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Very nice title screen. Mm -hmm. Bombs away. Okay. Um. He also made Asteroid Escape, Bombs Away, Cave In, Cave Run, Diamond Drop, Drag Race 2600, Gate Racer, Gate Racer 2, Th Grand Theft Atari Demo, Inferno Jumper, Jungle Adventure Demo, OS 2600, which we, uh, which is his newest that we played, uh, well, we showed, it's not a game, it's an operating system, uh, Primate Plunge, Arpad Blaster, Touchdown Challenge, Turbo, and a massive amount of hacks. So as another prolific person, you can download this from the Atari Age forums. So go for it. And it actually is a, oh, maybe I have to do it. Oh, maybe I have to be focused on it. Maybe I'm doing random things in, there we go. Well, it's got some options. What's the first one? Press it button, press the button. Oh, no, I didn't. Maybe it is moving. Oh yeah, okay, up and down. Uh, this is the first game I've worked on since I started Cave in 2007. I just finished it up. I've been working on it on and off for the past few weeks. I was trying to make a simple, fast-paced action game. This one plays similar to Kaboom. The game itself is complete. However, I may add some tweaks. So it's got levels, it's got laser, average, yeah, So laser shields. on or off, I think. Okay. On, maybe? Easy. Oh, there is an easy. Easy, hard. I'll go with easy to start, I guess. Shields on... Level one. Nice. Okay. It's got no, the no city at the bottom. Yeah. This looks like it has some lives on the left or the right. Uh, oh, I played this briefly. Press the button and oh, destroy there. the bombs. Hold down the button, actually. There you go. Oh, I see. Uh game is 16k uses standard kernel it does not use the super chip option object of the game is to zap the falling bombs before they reach the city below um so sort of like missile command but sort of like catching them as well like kaboom they're slow moving this is the easy level so yeah well it gives you a good uh, yeah it's so... good handle on the game yeah. you have a powerful laser beam that can be moved back and forth to take out the bombs the city also has a set of shield defenses which will stop the bombs, but you won't score any points for the destruction. I guess those things going back and forth are the shields. Okay. You also have uh, a super powerful laser blast you can deploy at any moment during the game. Uh, oh, this looks like a, oh, got the hang of that. Ooh, good, anim good animation of uh, blowing up the bomb. you're losing any lives when you run into it. Weird. Oh, now you lost a life. Yeah. I think when you press a button, it resets your bullet to... There you go. Um, it will destroy all the falling bombs on the screen. To activate the super laser, push up on the joystick. Ah, okay. So you don't want to do that unless you're in big trouble. So super bomb is up. But only if you're in trouble. If they're all about to... About to hit the ground, yeah. Uh, you receive 10 points for every bomb you destroy. Uh, and as mentioned before, no bombs destroyed by the shitty uh, city shields. Uh, the game is divided up in 12 levels, and with each passing level, you'll face a faster bombing rate on your city. Once you reach level 12, it's a test of endurance. There'll be no more pauses in the action until you reach the inevitable destruction of your city. You'll see your city blow up when the six bombs have hit. Oh, so those are your cities at the bottom. So you have blown up one somehow. 
What? No. There are what? only five. Yeah, you start with six. No, but they were all the Those same. Those dots. The dots? No, because I lost a life. Oh, okay. Ah, ha, ha. Whoa, now they're falling. Yeah, level two was like the same speed. Get Your shields them. are helping out a little bit. It's caught, oh, a, fair caught, amount. A, caught a few of them. I find it quite precise. I have a hard time getting directly underneath the bomb so that it destroys Sweep them. Sweep them, then. Uh, sort of. Sweep. It is hard to get under them. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, okay. The city can survive six direct bomb hits before it's destroyed. This must oh. be in the city. Ah, I haven't talked about that yet. The six hits are indicated with the level counter at the bottom of the screen. If you reach the end of a level and you've taken at least one hit, you will gain one life back. Once you reach level 12, there are no opportunities to gain extra lives. Uh, in the updated binary, there's an option screen. You can now select which level you want to start on. Did you select level one to start on? Yes, yeah. I did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. That's right. Oh, it's so hard to get directly under them. <laughs> but it, it really is. It's hard to be that precise. Maybe it's the joystick, or I don't know. Mm. Uh, I just need to get better with the joystick. <laughs> Graduated score and bombs near the top are worth 40, 30, then 20, then 10. So that's why you've got such. Oh, they're moving now. That's a little stressful. <laughs> that's how Missile Command was. That's even more stressful. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, that one saved you. Your shield yes, saved did. you. Level 6. Um, oh, this is not easy to oh. do. Yeah. You didn't lose a. You didn't lose a life. Yes, I did. I lost one of those things at the bottom. Oh, it was gone before. Maybe you gained one and then lost one. Are you getting there? Ah, come uh, on. Um. A new feature is the ability to change your laser. Oh, you can keep on. it at a static height, which is default, or make it sh slowly shoot up from the bottom. So you're on the hard level. What? With your laser shooting, you've turned it on. Usually it's static at static height. Oh, yeah, no, I turned level. on the harder, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's more fun this way. I think so. It gets Just blocked by the shield. It also makes it a little bit crazier. Oh, yeah. Uh, changing the laser to a shooting type increases the difficulty. Uh, the type of laser you want is now a selectable option. Another change is the option you can. You choose are saved from game to game. When you fire the game on the game over screen, you're taken back to the options screen. Uh, the game now includes the option of having a second player control the city's uh, shields using oh, the right joystick. Really? So if no one's using the right joystick, ah! the shields will hover back and forth automatically. So can I just join in? <gasps> I can. Yeah, but you... <laughs> I'm not. I'm not affecting you at all. Ah, I'm going yes, to... you are, because you're shutting my laser down every time you pass in front of my laser. It shuts really? it lower. Yes. So. I doubt it. Ah, no. Doesn't say anything about that. I have no effect on this screen. This game looks like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, but I'm you're probably, yeah, you're probably affecting my points. Yes, but I'm helping you because it's crazy now. Yeah, but I'll just use the bottom one then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Aren't you going after levels? <laughs> Am I? I think level 12 it gets really frantic, but actually, yeah, that's pretty cool. That, that there's a yeah there we go I don't think I've ever seen a game on the 2600 yeah where a player two can just join in yeah that's pretty rare and if they don't if if you let go it just goes back to default never seen that where it's optional during the game at any point to join in that is amazing very very good innovation there The only one I can other think of is Duck Hunt, where you can um, control the, the the ducks with the second second joystick. Oof. Oh 
Oh, you are gaining lives. Because you've got one back now. I always make them too far away! Ah! Oh, you lost one. Ugh! <laughs> You're doing really well. Whoa! Oh my god. Helps. Oh, I, I lost one there. <laughs> oh, we've almost made it to level 12. <sighs> okay. Yee -hee -hee. Does it stay on level 12? Uh, the the difficulty does increase after level 12. Level 12 is Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh! oh 1,200 not points. That was uneasy. Easy. <laughs> wow. We can swap out if you want, if you want yep. to try average or hard. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go run out average. really quickly, so I'll, I'll join, I'll jump in in oh, a yeah, second. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm do, gonna you want, do you want some water? The, yes, if you could fill my water up okay. again. I'll be right back. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I want the normal laser. I want not hard. I want average. I do want shields, yes. I want to start on level one. Oh, thank you very much, Arena Foot, for keeping track of the score there. So, let's see. This should be... Maybe I should play it... No, I should play it the same exact way she did with the, with the weird laser. Not hard. I'm supposed to remember what setting I put it on. But I'm playing a different game. Trying the sweeping motion, but um, sometimes I need to sweep, sweep, sometimes I want to be more precise. Yes. I like games where you can just like take a break. <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, arena foot. Yeah, this yeah. is one of the good homebrews yeah. from a long time ago. Yeah, this is a good homebrew. Yeah, this it's one's a, a really early one. So what, In 2009. What can I do? You kind of just sweep, sweep them. You can control the sweeping. Well, I can motion. keep them on the side if you want. No, thank you. No, but then. Oh, that's true. It's on growing. this level. Actually, that helps the score on this yeah, level. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You were destroying my score. <laughs> Not on the higher levels. It's actually on the higher helpful. levels. Yeah, you kind of want to go like this, so I can keep. Hey. Uh. So you can just focus on the middle, and I get the edges. So. Oh. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm playing it on medium. I'm though. coming on some and trying to figure <laughs> out some tactics here. That's you know. true. You can actually help my score. But it does have very weird movement. Like, you're not actually moving them, you're accelerating them by moving the joystick. You're breaking my score. Alright, stay this No, way. no, no, it's fine. I'm not going for score, because I'm, I'm playing on medium, so I can't compare my score to yours. It's okay. It doesn't look too different. Well, a little faster, maybe. A little faster. Sweep the laser, Johnny! <laughs> That's true. <gasps> Terrible. Oh my it. god. No, I didn't. Oh, I haven't died. I can't. Sometimes it doesn't want to get it, which I find really funny. Yeah, it's like Hi, I shot Atari! Through. Atari's Hi. here to play. It's like I heard you're playing a good game. <laughs> can I sweep the laser? Sweep can the I, laser! Can I chew the cord? Yeah. That's how I'll help. Um, you may want to help now. Starting to get a little, a little hectic. Oh, that's a very short level. Oh my god! Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. That jumped up in difficulty very quick. Oh, just took out a city. Uh, only one. 
your scores higher too? Um, didn't Do say they? anything about scoring being, being different. So the thing that goes back and forth just resets you, doesn't hurt you. The only thing that hurts you is missing one of those bombs. Or one of these bombs. I love the fact that it's got two screens. This one and the other one, because it kind of breaks up the breaks up the monotony of oh my god. Sorry. I knew I'd get one of them. And they were both very far apart. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are chunking down the screen it's so fast. Oh! Missed one. Ooh, it's Two definitely cities harder. left. Definitely harder. Yes. Oh, one city left. Oh, no, it didn't. Yeah, you got him right at the last second. Yes, it must have been the last second. hard because you get close to it, but you can't be on it. You have to yeah. shoot it. You have to shoot the, the you touching bottom it of it. doesn't help. I suppose it says, Batari Base that can make great games. This isn't even the DPC Plus Advanced Kernel. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a really, really good game yeah. for um, Basic, especially for... Oh, my God, I just missed... <gasps> oh, so hard. Average. Average. <laughs> is, that, is it telling me that no, I'm no, average? No, 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 no. Mine said easy because I was on oh. easy. It's just telling you what level you're at. Okay. So let's go for hard yeah, and fun. the constant laser. Okay. Shields off? Eh. It'll give oh, you something it's to fun. Do. It's fun to... You're going to start really high? You're going to start at 12? Yeah. <laughs> no, maybe 10. All right. Should be interesting. Oh, what? Oh, I guess this is, this is level 10. Yeah. That's okay. So this is the constant laser, where it doesn't go up the screen. Which I don't Does know how you easier? could... Oh, way easier. Because it was going... And you'd miss it all the time. I feel like I'm not helping you with these shields. <laughs> I feel like totally... <laughs> it's difficult. The shields are not easy to control. I mean, they shouldn't be, because they're just an added bonus. Sweet. Oh. Oh. Ah. That one you lost. It actually has to go through quite a bit of countdown before it. It does. Yeah, it does flash quite a bit. Ah. Like it goes yellow, I think. I don't think 12 is the highest. This looks faster. 12 is the highest starting point, maybe. I don't know if this is running oh, at 60 frames a second. Because they're chunking down the screen. Pretty good. <laughs> Average level. Uh, that's fine. It didn't have to keep track of the scores. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try the harder Yeah, levels? sure. And sure. the constant laser? Should it's... I start at zero or? Um, or zero, one. Whichever. Yeah, you could try it. Start. I wouldn't. Maybe on hard at one. Yeah, hard at one. With the constant laser? Yeah. There you go. All right. See, it's a lot easier doing that sweeping motion. Well, it's more yeah. like a lightsaber. Yeah, because it's not its not starting and stopping every time it hits a shield or a whatever. Mm-hmm. 4570, it's hard. Oh, thank you very much. slow still. They still start slow. So what I'm controlling is I'm kind of controlling the top one by pressing left and right and the other yeah. one below does it's the opposite the direction. Opposite, yeah. You can hold down the button. 
Okay. Yeah. See, I, I miss that a lot. <laughs> I always try and see what the button does when you hold it down. Yeah. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not good. Figure it out. Come on! This chair, I always slide down. <laughs> Me too. It's very... so tomorrow we're gonna have our uh, retro gaming night. Yes. We hold it once a year, and this year we're focusing on the ColecoVision and the Vectrex. So what we usually do is have three games, and you have to try and get the top score you can in the games, and you get like. Ten points for first place, nine points for second, eight points for third, etc., etc., etc. And then you get your scores added up from those three games, and then you get prizes. We have yeah, ribbons so. this year, and yeah. a bunch of video game-related candy and prizes, and little figurines. I don't know what we got. We usually try and accumulate them through the year um, and buy them at the retro gaming e expos that we go to. Um, so the games this year that we selected um, for Coleco is oh, oh my goodness now it's getting hard uh, Pepper Two which is a fun game it's like um, Amadar for I think Atari had Amadar um, and you have to draw squares around predetermined maps it's kind of like Pac Man ish. It's a maze type game. It's really fun. Pepper 2 is good. Um, and then for the second game for the Coleco is going to be Burger Time. Just because we've been playing Burger Time. I just thought, oh, I'm going to play. Pick Burger Time for, for the uh, Coleco, which is a pretty good version. Um, and then for the Vectrex, I've selected uh, Web Warp. Which is like a 3D first person, first person, not really first person perspective, but third person perspective down in uh, an alley, kind of a mm. a bowl, half bowl, and you're shooting characters as you're going back and forth, going back and forth down this uh, half ah, bowl. Ah, oh my god. Ah, ah, <laughs> this is not good. Not good. No, it isn't. Not good. Oh, you three cities, three cities left. Ah, ah. <laughs> I'm trying my best to protect you. Oh no, two cities left. <sighs> yeah, web war web wars. There it is. Or web warp. I think it depends on if you're in the EU or Canada. I can't remember what the names. I think it did have a different name in U EU. Let's see. Oh come on. Web wars? And Oh no, maybe it just only had one name. Web wars. Web wars? Yeah. Tempest-like. Yeah. Like 3D Tempest. Very Tempest-like. But, like, yeah, it actually is very Tempest-like. Yeah. Except it's one. It's a, just like one. A it's one half pipe. I don't think that changes. Okay. Okay. It's the edges that are hard to, to get back to. Oh! Oh! That was That's not bad. good. Definitely higher score in the easy, but... 9,460 uh, on hard, yeah. starting from level one. Yeah, that was what, level eight? Something like that? Hello, Ronister, welcome. Web Wars, Web Wars, two names, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, very good, okay, you keep that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna switch over to the last game, mm -hmm. which is tennis. Mm -hmm. See, it's actually a really fun tennis game. So we're going to play two players at first. This is not a homebrew. This is an original No, this card. is original. We're All going right. to go for the uh, patch. Okay. And it, I'm guessing it's really easy to get. Okay. Actually, I think it's not... It's not... Like, you have to figure out how to play. And then... It, and then you can get the patch fairly simple. Okay, I think it's on just one player right now. Oh, that's because you touched me, that's why. That's right. I moved away. There we go. Ah, you got at me. Oh, I thought I thought we were playing like against the No, I'm playing. Just to warm up. Fifteen. 
30, 50. Oh. 30, 30. Do I have to hit it or do I just have to get behind it? No, you just have to get behind it. I don't oh. think there's any button, but I'll, I'll look just it up to after. Serve. But if yeah. you get on the angle, it depends where on the racket you hit it. Just to serve, yeah. Then it switches sides. If you get on the edge of your racket, it'll uh, do a wide angle shot. Oh, okay. I think they did a really good job. Yeah, I do. Actually, it seems it's pretty very intuitive. intuitive. And the shadow of the ball on the ground is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. And I can't remember what it's up to, what, um, what the points go up to. What does it go up to in normal tennis? How many points? 40? Oh, points? No, 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 like actual oh, points. Oh, geez, for a set? To win yeah. the set? Uh, I can't remember. It's been a while. Seven? I used to watch tennis all the time, but I can't remember. 12 or... I don't know. 12. I don't remember. Love Terrible. 30. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not love, but... No. 15. Uh, 30, see, 30. You can't move very quickly across the... Uh, so you got to center yourself and uh, yeah. kind of anticipate. Mm. Seven, somebody says. Yeah, that's funny. Arena Foot says. Oh. So you, you risk missing it if... Oh, deuce. If you try and... Oh, getting tricky. Advantage in. Oh. Advantage. Oh, deuce. And then it's advantage okay. out, right? What? I'm supposed to get that? Oh. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I was pressing the button and I didn't. It's, it's quite a quite a good what i guess i have to move forward oh, i think that's i'm just evil. back and forth that the is serving evil. is very evil <laughs> oh my god <laughs> well, you really have to watch the other person oh went right through me see i was trying to be too tricky At deuce, you have to win by two. Yeah, because you're even. Uh, Ooh. Three. Oh, did I serve from the top there? Yeah, you did. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> this will give us good practice for the um, yeah, it computer. It kind of makes me want to play tennis now. <laughs> <laughs> we have tennis courts near us. Yeah, I don't think we have any rackets anymore. <laughs> no, we don't, do we? Because no. they're garbage, so we throw them away. Oh, I don't think that'll it work on the hard. computer, though. Mm, it's hard to say. Unless he, like, really goes back and forth. Yeah. It's hard to anticipate. Oh, see? Oh. If you hit the tip, it's like... It's way off. Yeah. Especially if you see where your opponent is and hit it way over there. Yeah. Like, you cannot even come you can't, close. Because you can't move fast enough, really. No. Yeah, you can't move fast enough. It's good though. Yep. Uh, two good more job. points. Oh, that wasn't fair. <laughs> wasn't ready for you. Oh. Oh, right through your racket. I was under it. <laughs> it does make it uh, easier that you don't have to press the button. I guess because I can't move can't. forward no, until no. you actually serve. Not to you serve. Mm. Oh, it's to six? Sure. Apparently it's to six. Whatever works. Okay, okay. so are you ready for the... Uh, oh, am I playing? Okay. Yeah. One. Okay. I will read the instructions. Oh, my oh. oh, you got him. No, I'm pink. Oh, <laughs> Okay. 
Oh. It's a good game. Guess to six, yeah. Well, we'll find out. This is made by, it's made in 1981 by Alan Miller. It's a 2K game, super small. So that's really amazing that they've got AI in 2K, like decent AI. But I guess it all just has to go, go to the ball. You haven't got one point on them yet? No. Oh boy. Maybe this isn't going to be as easy as I thought. Maybe it's the hockey that's really easy. <laughs> um, all you have to do is win one, one set, which is one whole match, right? One set? Game set match, yeah. Uh, tennis is a sports video game for the Atari VCS, which was written, blah, 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 by Atari Activision co-founder Alan Miller. Uh, tennis offers single matches for one or two players. One player is colored pink, the other blue. The game has two, has two user-selectable speed levels. When serving and returning shots, the tennis players automatically swing forehand or backhand as the switch situation demands. And all shots automatically clear the net and land in bounds, which is another thing I didn't think of. Yeah, you, you can't you foul. can't foul. Yeah. yeah. It always does a good shot. It's all about not missing. So you're pink? Yeah. Okay. I can't get it past him. <laughs> I mean, maybe there's tactics to beating the AI, but it's not that easy. <laughs> First yeah, someone says tennis patch is hard. Oh, no. <laughs> J James was... is like, oh, we'll do this one. It'll be really easy. It'll be easy. I have not been able to get one past him. <laughs> Okay. The first one to win a 1-6 game set is declared the winner yeah, of the match. Finally. Oh, you got one. Yeah, if you hit it hard. You have to use the button to hit it hard. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, let's read the manual. I didn't know you could hit it hard. See what it says. In games one and three, Looks you're like the orange time. player. Oh, it says orange, not pink. That is not orange. That is not orange. <laughs> <laughs> this is orange. Yes. <laughs> Uh, joystick controllers, uh, left controls the orange, uh, push forward or pull, move back towards the net. Before each serve, you can only move right or left. During the game action, you can move all directions. To serve, use the joystick to position, then press the red button to serve. Red button is used for serving only. After serving, the players will swing automatically mm. if you're in a position to shoot the, uh, return a shot. Um... Difficulty switches. With difficulty in B, oh. which they should be, uh, players can hit shots at a wide variety of angles, some of them very sharp, which switches in up. The widest angle shots are eliminated. Oh, so you can make it an easier game? I don't know if that's easier or harder. Yeah. I think it would be harder to win against a computer if you can't do the angled ones. Yeah, I think that might be the only way to win against the computer. S scoring is the same as in real tennis. 15, 30, 40 deuce, and 40 all. Add in and add out following deuce. First player to win at least six games will be ahead by two games. And be ahead by two games. Yeah. Wins the set. So it can go on forever. Well, yeah, like a tennis match. Six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, yeah. eleven. Like forever and yeah, ever and ever. Murderous <laughs> tennis games like that. That would be. Maybe you look more orange on old TVs, yes. Possibly. But Stella's supposed to replicate uh, the TV experience. Yeah. They say orange. Maybe they uh, they had a bad TV mm. at Atari and went, eh, it's orange. Um, serving and volleying. You can serve to any part of the court, and your first serve is always in. You can never hit the ball too long or too short. Just like in real te tennis, when you're volleying at the net, you'll notice your shots don't travel as far as they do when you hit them from the baseline. Also, you'll be able to hit the most sharply angled shots while, be while playing at the net. So mm. the closer you are to the net, you the more of an angle. angle. Uh, so that's something mm. to keep in mind. Yeah, so he keeping... kicked your ass. Yes, he did. I'm going to keep reading, or you can oh, read. Okay. And please point out anything that is. Um, Where did you get to? Of good note. Where did you uh, get to? I don't know. You went through the controllers and the difficulty switches, or? Yep. Oh. Yep, I got that. You never hit the ball too long, blah, blah, blah. I got to the angle at the net. you at the ball to the edge of the racket, the sharper the angle will be. Damn it. In the direction your racket is facing, but you'll need to be careful. It's easy to attempt a sharply angled shot and miss the ball entirely. 
Yeah, it's doing that with yeah. you, playing you. Once you understand the game's basics, we suggest you start off with game three or three or four and play in slow motion for a while. Oh. With the difficulty switches in B, the down position, you'll soon get the feeling of the court. When to rush the net, when to lay back and play the baseline, and how the ball reacts when it's hit from various positions on your racket. Damn it. Difficulty switches to the up position while you practice. After you've gotten a little confidence, take on the Activision Computer Pro or a friend at full speed, game one or two, with full wide-angle shot capability. So that's difficulty switches down at B. You'll find it quite a challenge. Yeah, the button thing's definitely a myth because, well, unless they didn't say it in the manual. No, it seemed to I seemed to do a really strong shot, but it might have just been the angle I was at. <sighs> yeah, Finally, my second. I'm leading. I'm kind of. <laughs> Alan Miller is a senior designer at Activision, a fierce video game competitor. He's the designer and undisputed champion of checkers and tennis by Activision. My Activision tennis, like real tennis, puts a premium on anticipation, reflexes, and conditioning. You really have to stay on your toes. Try and anticipate where your opponent's shot will land and get in position to return. Damn it. Practice moving quickly to the area where you think your opponent's shot will go. If you can do that, then you'll get a jump on placing your shot out of your opponent's reach. Damn it. It's beating him. Oh, I almost got him there. <laughs> I'm getting something. Understanding. For an extra tough challenge, try to serve and volley against the computer with the difficulty switches set on B. Hit a sharply angled serve ah. off the edge of your racket to either the right or left side. Then move quickly about two-thirds of the way to the net. If you've anticipated properly, you can nail his return with a cross-court volley for a winner. That's what I've been doing. Uh, but guess wrong and he's past you. This strategy demands a high level of concentration, razor-sharp razor reflexes, and lots of practice. Oh my god. Hmm. He's being tricky on his serve. And then uh, the Activision limited 90-day warranty, would you like to Oh, that's expired. <laughs> Definitely doing better than I am, than I was. I've won a, um, a set. A game. Game? A game. Game, set, match. Uh, so you have to win the set when right. you have to get six. I guess I can math. Mm -hmm. So you won a game. Yeah. I'm doing much better. It's all about getting that sharp angle mm. when he's in the right position. Very naughty at the serve. <laughs> very, very naughty. Ooh. Two! Tied up. Good job. We need a homebrew version of tennis with doubles, doubles and mixed, and mixed up. doubles. <laughs> yes, with the quad, yes, with the quad tari. Need some tennis skirts in there. <laughs> That's right, some good, uh, good graphics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't, you can't, oh, you can't beat him off a serve. So I don't know if there's any even any point in uh, being tricky. Damn it! Ah! Give him support. Damn it! Oh, I could have done it. Ah! Oh. Seriously? Oh, he's able to turn around in a second. So naughty. Oh, there we go. Have to get the angle.
means you lose a lot of them because you're trying to get it right off the edge of your racket. Damn it! So you, you accidentally go through them all the time. How did that get past him? It's like some sort of randomness that he like totally missed a simple shot. It I like, think he does went right through his racket. I think he does occasionally randomly miss a miss a shot. I've he noticed. definitely missed that one that it yeah. just went that just happened because there's almost no like reason he could. There's a setting where it's like okay, every twentieth shot he misses or something. I don't know. Yeah. How's it going? Uh. Way better than I thought. Yeah. After watching. After watching me fail. Watching me play, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm just gonna be massacred. Sometimes watching helps too to kind of figure out this strategy. So. Oh, definitely. Nice. Oh, I'm way behind he's still though. Still ahead of you. If he gets the next one, you're you're starting over. So. Yeah. Unfortunately. Cool. Good. Good. Fifteen love. Or love. Fifteen love. Depends on the perspective. How I, does that work? I, I, yeah, I can't remember. See, Ooh. see, that's that's a mistake. It was he a double. It was that. a double bounce, I think. But oh, anyway, that's what it, it he just like. didn't make it to it. Yeah. Oh. A lot more exciting to watch than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching Wimbledon. Does it have noises for the bouncing? No. No. That's too bad because it could have. Eh. Maybe it was too annoying. Oh, he beat you. Three. I, that's way better than I thought it would do. Mm. Need a break? Yeah. Okay. It's intense. Now I can see why it's Ooh. like win one. Win, just win. That's all you have to do is win. Not like it could be anything else, really. And I think this is the simplest, easiest setting. Mm. The other one's a slow motion one, which maybe it's easier. I don't know why it would be easier. Well, it would be because you'd be more precise. I can't quite figure out the angled shots. I'm getting too too close. That just shows you right there how to do it, right? Yeah, but I mean, when you're actually playing it, I seem to it's, have a hard time getting getting an angle on. Well, it is very tricky yeah. because you have to pl be very uh, risky with oh, your dear. racket. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that well. Hard patch to get. Yeah. Arena Foot says, yep. Um, hard. I wouldn't say extremely hard because I just got three points. Oh. Yep. Three to six on my first ever game. I don't think I've played this game to the end. I think I always played it with another person. No, mm. ne never against the computer all the way. Maybe once or twice back in the um, back in the eighties. So which system should I bring out tomorrow? Definitely the mm. SNES. Oh, the um, NES. 
the NES. Yeah. Or well, the Coleco and the Vectrex because those Obviously. are the featured. Got to get an Atari in there somewhere. Uh, Maybe? No. No? No, because it's not working, and maybe I will, but... Yeah, I probably will, because Erlen's going to want to play Amoeba Jump. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Just to play it, see if he can uh, get a better score. Yeah. Run. Um, oh, I'm running around in circles. Put the right difficulty on A to slow down the AI player. I don't mm. think so, but we can try. Because it doesn't specify in the patch. Um, it doesn't slow down the player. You just can't make the wide shots. I think that's the difference mm. with the switches. Let me check. Uh, put the difficulty... Uh, oh, no. Gamer 3 or, three or 4 is slow motion. And A is to put it into let's see a is the wide wide angle shots are eliminated it doesn't say anything about the computer being affected by that but i bet it would be because of how small the game is it just would just would do it now that would be um, the right switch. Yeah, I think you're right, Arena Foot. We're going to try that after your game. Sure. Because I don't want to mess with the settings at the, in the middle. In the middle? No, Maybe okay. I will. Oh. Right difficulty A. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that seemed like a pretty angled shot that he just did. Mm. He's blue, yeah. Okay. Mm, I'm yeah. Gonna watch, oh, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to watch him. Mm, I don't know if that was super angled. But it doesn't... It just makes him scoring on you harder. doesn't make you scoring on him easier. No. Because he's really good at returning it. It is just as hard. But it'll make it easier for you to get more shots on him. Yeah. <laughs> In legs? My toes. Toes. Uh, I'll probably bring out a Sega Master System. Maybe a Turbo Graphics. Hmm. It should slow him down a bit. Yeah, it should. I don't know if, it, if you can do that mid-game. It may not register mid-game. It should because it's probably just reading things directly. It's only a 2K game. It doesn't have a lot of uh, space for things. <laughs> but maybe not. It's hard to tell whether he's doing wide shots or not. It doesn't seem like he is. That wasn't very wide. That wasn't wide. Right. nice that it lets you serve first because mm -hmm. then you're not resetting and then scrambling mm -hmm. to to return the shot oh he got that one didn't think he was gonna get it is this the easier switch for him he shouldn't be able to shoot wide shots okay it's hard to tell though but are you does that Doesn't work help for me. the patch or there is nothing specified for the patch. No, Actually, you just they, have to beat them. They didn't even give out patches yeah. when they put nice. out this game. Okay. These are like the retroactive patches. Mm. And it just says beat the computer. Some patches are like any setting, mm -hmm. anything you want, just, just do this. Just achieve this score. Mm. Maybe it's helping. Maybe I'm just better now. You probably picked up some strategy. Oh, I definitely did playing my my first game. Now I just have to do that five more times <laughs> and I've got my patch. 
and pay attention before he while he serves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. mm. I found that a secret is to stay at the stay near if oh, you can. Oh, he shouldn't have gotten that one. If he was a real ah! person. Yeah. He's not. He's a, he's a machine. He's a monster. There we go. There we go. I, I swear, when you're away from the net, they're faster. The returns. It said yeah. in the manual, they're faster when you're at the when net. When you're volleying at the net, yeah. But that's... It goes further from further back. And, and it stays closer tw towards the net, so I don't know. Whoa, look at that angle. Yeah, that Whoa. was good. Glad he didn't do that against me. Oh my god. We were that close? Mm -hmm. Damn it. I thought it was doing okay. I you guess were. not. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you got to get that angle in there. But it's hard to get because it's right off the edge of your racket. Nice. Ooh, maybe I'll do that each time. Oh, we hit it over there. He turns it back. And, oh, and oh. then you have to hit it back. Then I have to hit it back, <laughs> but further. Oh, he's not. Doesn't do the same thing each time. No. It is a bit random. Ah, eh, never mind. <laughs> he learns AI. He does. Scary. <laughs> There's no AI in 2K. <laughs> Yeah. There we Good. go. I'm leading. It does make for a long game, though. It does. Oh, what? There's 3D-ish to it. Like, you have to watch the... It's kind of where the shadow is, not mm -hmm. where the ball is. So it's... They did a great job doing that. Mm -hmm. The shadow is fabulous. Like, yeah. and that's the... what makes it feel like a tennis game is, is the, the bounce physics. effect and the physics of the ball. So good. Nice. Thought it was widest at the net. So did I, but um, I don't think so. Not from. Oh. See, that wasn't. That was halfway up the court. Damn it. 40! <gasps> what? Must have just got that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! 2-2. Two, two. Mm -hmm. It's hard to do though. Mm -hmm. Hard to get him. So you have to watch his position nice. and get him in a spot return it in a spot where he's nowhere near. So it's not as easy as it appears to be. Mm -hmm. What? See? What? What is that? Yeah. He totally missed Double it. Double bounce or? Just waited too long to get it. Nice. Stay ahead of him. But even if you stay ahead of him, oh my god, you have to be two, right? Is it mm. two? Beat him by two? Ah! Sorry, cat. It's okay, he's purring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Upset, happy, sad, mad. Atari is just always in a happy mood. Oh! <sighs> Damn it. I seem to do well. Oh! Yes, it's not synced up. With the game audio? Yeah. So. The game audio. Yeah, with what they're hearing. Oh, okay. So just ignore that. Luckily, there's not too many sounds in the game. Well, there is a sound for the bouncing. Being distracted. Yeah, don't, don't be distracted. Went through my racket. Forty. God damn it. Mm. 
no. Yes. Oh my god. How did you get that? I swear I was going to get that point. Moving back is sometimes more beneficial than moving to the side when you're trying mm. to return. You get a lot more um, lenience. Oh my god, come on. Oh. <sighs> oh. Yeah, you always think it's gonna pause, but he doesn't. Like when it when it's his nope. turn to serve, there's no break. There's no break. That's the first time I've returned it in a long time. Mm. Weird. I'll take it, but weird. Kitties. <laughs> Don't be distracted. No, 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 no. Cat distractions. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh! at this 2k game from 1981 <laughs> that long predates you atari <laughs> who's turning four soon. oh he is he's got his birthday coming up yeah Your birthday cat very soon what day is it his birthday I think it's like next week or something didn't we notice it on the calendar yep That mix with the delay of what you see, it feels like it's gonna. I, <laughs> I can see, I can the, see the, the future. I can see the future. So you guys can see it before I lose. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's a hard game. I feel like you're close though. Uh, yeah, I I I, I know like how to do it. I feel like you've got some of the strategy down now. The problem is the balance, the mm -hmm. balance between trying to be tricky and just trying to get us get a point on him because these angles. But if you too, try too hard like that, mm -hmm. going on the outside and just catching with your racket, you're gonna miss a lot of them mm -hmm. to get these easy easier um, hits on it. But you don't get the easy hits past him, except for the odd time where he seems to screw up. Like He's screwing up a bunch here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I haven't gotten those good hits in in a while, like that. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to do. Very risky. Because it's all about the angle. And also, if he returns it, sometimes it puts you in a really difficult position if if you get it off the racket, just at that angle. See, he returns it and he hits it to the other side of the court that you're not on. Mm -hmm. It's very challenging. See, I was trying to do it there. Not good. I'm going to have to play more safe. Hooray! So even a game is kind of you have to beat by two, oh. right? Uh, yeah, it has to be game... six four. Oh. No, I mean this. A game, not the set. Yeah. No, always. Yeah. 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 That's better. Reset. 
There we the go. The D train, 37. Oh my god, I've been doing homework and didn't realize the show was on. <laughs> Don't have your Twitch alerts on? <laughs> Watching them every homework. second of the day? Come on, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. Homework. What, what priorities, people? Uh, he's... Where's homework going to get you? I had the volume down, yeah. <laughs> Homework's only going to get you so far. <laughs> huh. Bounces twice. He just doesn't get it in time for some reason. He's moving back. Damn it! Rar. No. <laughs> Can't lose the first set where I'm serving. <laughs> RC Sony says I have Twitch alerts. Email me and forward emails from Twitch to my text message. That's not how I'm here. <laughs> Within one minute of the show starting every time. Ah. That is a very good way to do it because. Yeah. Uh, very smart. Yeah, I do have not I do have the Twitch notifications on my phone it always tells me when you're oh, me starting too. up yeah. yeah okay yeah fluffs yeah yeah baby see if i could just do that serve every time get him over there he returns it and then no I... you have to get back but yeah sorry <laughs> but you do <laughs> oh my god oh you gotta win that first one eh oh yeah if you're not ruining like that that yeah. if i could do that just yeah. over and over and over that's hard it's probably he moves over though, right? He does sometimes. He he's he's he does anticipate almost. Not really anticipate, but as you say it's probably random. Yeah, he's got he doesn't do the same hit every time. But at least if I do that serve mm. and then try and get it away from him, I can have a little bit of an advantage. reasoning behind these the weird scoring 15 30 and then 40 what but that's that's tennis yeah but i don't know that... what the reasoning is i'm sure there's some historical <laughs> make any reason. sense just one two and three why not even if it was 10 20 30 that would make sense yeah no i don't know i don't know but 15 30 and then an extra 10? 40 <laughs> and then advantage in advantage out. that makes sense because you, it wants you to beat him by two. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So I'm fine with that. Yay. Hurrah. Now I just have to... It's kind of cool that you change from... Sides? The... Yeah. Yeah, I like that. <sighs> there was a video on the evolution of... Uh, video game tennis. I can't remember who did it. It was really well done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this was in it. This was in it. It was like one of the first ones. Yeah, because it's really good. It is really good. It was comparing all the different, um, different especially games. Nintendo ones. Yes. It was a British, uh, British uh, yes. YouTube channel. Yes. It was excellent. Didn't realize there were that many tennis games. It's yeah, pretty, it's a I. pretty niche, niche kind of game. Very niche. It's not a mass popular, mm -hmm. especially for video games anyway. I mean, for people watching it, it's very popular. Ah, so the D-Train says, Wikipedia says it's believed to be from medieval France, and the scoring is first quarter, second point is second quarter, 30 minutes, because it's done on a clock face. Oh. But then the 40, 40? 40 is a bit odd, but yeah. Okay, yeah. 15 and... Oh! <laughs> I'll continue playing, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, no one's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no one's perfect. 
So it still doesn't explain it. It just says it was ages. done on a it was done on a clock face. Yeah. But maybe it was forty five and, and then it became forty. I mean who knows, right? Things change. But uh No, being up to the net is not a good strategy for me at least. Because it doesn't give me enough time when he hits it. Maybe 45 was too much. <laughs> to, to, to say? Maybe. Was, was maybe, maybe just easier to say. I don't yeah, know. maybe its origins are in the yeah, language. Or in the language, yeah. Uh, RC70, well, uh, there's something about tennis games that brings the family together. This is the only Atari game I remember playing with my mm, parents. Get it. And really? Wii Tennis was a huge family hit. Yeah, Wii Tennis ah. was very popular, too. I liked Wii Bowling. I liked the bowling in yeah. the sports. That was pretty fun. It lent itself very well to yeah. the uh, motion controls. The tennis and the bowling. Sorry, I reset because he had two up on me. That's pointless to continue that. Obviously not doing well when your opponent's already two up. I thought this was going to be a slam dunk for a patch. But it was... Just the hockey, that's the easy one. <laughs> Where did you get the idea that it was going to be easy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, so I shouldn't distract you. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. I'm not going to have to keep silent the whole time. That would be terrible. Coherent theory of distance. Mm. Are you talking about the scoring? I don't know. Still? It seems to be... Hockey is an easy Yeah, patch. yeah. Okay, not the tennis. I was just equating them because it's like a still a, kind of a one-on-one -on -one sports well, game. Well, it, it seems a simple game, but it's not. And actually, the movement of the of the computer, the whatever is AI too good. was, is, is very good. It's, it seems to anticipate your movement very well. thing is, I know I can beat it because I can. I, I am. Yeah, yeah. But it's just consistency of that. Yeah, that comes with practice, no doubt. I mean, there's got to be a bit of mimicry of your movement that he's doing. Uh, I don't think so. No? I think it's, it's just... random. They're not, just like, I'm here, me. I'm running to the ball. I'm here, I'm running yes. to the ball. That's all That's it is. That's all he's doing. Yeah. With... So you just have to get the ball far enough away from him that he can't get under it. Yes. Or be lucky enough that it's one of one of the Double losses. Bounce. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> lost that one. Nice, nice. Jesus. Come on. Get with it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Post says I used to like play 2600 real sports tennis. Oh, that was a good one too. Yeah. Oh, you enter your player name first. In real sports tennis? Mm. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I can deceive him. See, your movements actually affect his movements. Mm -hmm. So possibly your position in relativity to the to the ball affects can, it slightly yeah because like he has a delay in, in his movement well you in relation to the ball will dictate where he is going to be mm. like as if he's anticipating but i it's, i can't do that while watching mm. though it's too hard yeah Okay, two okay. one. I mean, the server has the advantage, so. A yeah, mm, little bit. Yeah. Usually, yes. There we go. Does it change to be a little bit darker pink?
Yeah, I don't get orange from that at all. No. Oh. It's tough to get those shots, though, mm -hmm. because it puts you in a very vulnerable position. Uh, but I have to take those risks to try and well, get it like yeah. that. And that's when I miss it, is, is trying those um, risky edge of the racket shots, because it's really the only way you can beat them. Well, unless, unless he does the double bounce. There you go. I need to stay two up from him. Damn it! Oh, I thought he was going to miss that. It looked like his racket didn't even connect. Can you imagine if you were actually one of these players on the court? <laughs> I'd be very tired by now. Very, very tired. <laughs> it's a lot of running around oh, in this game. Oh, it's a lot of volume. Oh, no. Damn it. If you get a wide angle when he's at the net and you're at the net, mm. it's easier to get a point on him because he has to go back for it. But it's just a, it's a hard, hard, hard thing it's to block. Hard One more game. Mm -hmm. Not getting too tired. Eh, no. It's not like a super joysticky. Mm. Like it's minor movements. Sweeping movements, let's say. Mm. Grr. You'd think that with any game, there'd be a, a graduated levels of not this game playing against <laughs> playing against the computer that you could like easily win against him. No, no, and then a medium. No, they said if you go to the higher levels, he's slow, so you can practice trying to win against him. I don't know about that. Yeah, like f six or something. No, it's only four. Oh, it's just slow motion overall. I don't know if this is gonna help at all. <laughs> There you go. It's going to be a long game. 
Yeah, but you... I guess... I guess technically if you won this game, you would you would get the patch, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that cheating? <laughs> That's fun. It's so slow. <laughs> oh, it's painfully slow. I don't know if this is worth it. <laughs> Certainly a lot easier. It's hard to even. There we go. No, okay. Yeah, but you have to be on the opposite side. To get the real, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. You still have to pay attention because you still have the same amount of time to recover so you have to <laughs> position yourself in a well because you don't screen. move that that quickly right no You're very slowly it just helps you set up your shots a little bit i guess yeah yeah it's easier but it's so painful. So very painful. So painful. But, you know, if that's what it takes, <laughs> what do you think? Is this cheating? <laughs> Is it cheating to play it like this? It just says beat the computer. I know. I mean, it'd be nice to do it on the fast level, but... Uh... If you do it on this level, it technically qualifies. <laughs> Winning on a technicality. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta do that yeah. edge case. Beat the computer. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> it. That's all it says. makes it way easier to do these angle shots. You almost have to be in a position where your nice. racket's n almost not touching it. Yeah, to get the edge. He's getting nothing but angle shots now. Nice. It feels so cheaty. <laughs> no, it's not cheaty. Oh, see, you got one on you. Yeah. Gotta let him win sometimes. <laughs> nice. Off a serve. Oh my god. Was it off? No. Yeah, it was. That was off a serve. Wasn't it? No. Was it? I don't know. Oh. Off a return. Oh. I mean. Yeah, off yeah, a return. From his serve. No, from your serve. Wasn't it? I no, I just switched. No, you're right. Yeah, it was off of his serve. It was a return. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Anybody else? What does everybody else think? Is this cheating? <laughs> you need a poll. It's is not this cheating? It's not technically <laughs> cheating, but is one, it? One for yes, two <laughs> for no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. No one's taking me up on it right now. That's okay. No. They're all doing their homework. Yeah. <laughs> no one's paying attention because it's oh, been tennis I'm... for the last two for now. Thank you, Arena Foot. <laughs> <laughs> Not shooting. Well, then I'm probably going to get the patch. Yeah. Not in it's a good to get way. the patch. It doesn't mean we can't go back and you can try to uh, do it the uh, proper way, the hard way. How were the official patch rules made public? That is a good question because I only find them, found them on a page saying like the, the ones after they implemented the patches on old games. There's a list on the Atari Age site that says how you get the patches. So it lists this as beat the computer in a, in a set. 
It's for a virtual patch anyway. Yes, it is. No, this is well. No, it's. I mean, you. I can't take a picture of the the computer. I mean, yeah, and and ask Activision to send me a patch. But no, I I plan on getting the actual real patches, at some point. Like like acquiring them. Acquiring them. Yeah. yeah. Buying them. Because Activision doesn't have them anymore. But did Activision give a tennis patch? Yep. After the fact. Though. After the fact. Yeah. Oh. Because it's. Because it's uh, an early game before they started giving out patches. Are you going to put them on a cool jean jacket? I agree. I think they should be on a cool jean and jacket. And I would wreck them. No, it should be a sleeveless jean jacket. <laughs> you should go with full punk route <laughs> with some, some obscure Atari-related punk band's t-shirt cut up and sewn to the back. Hmm, I Atari related you. punk band. I don't know. Sorry, I'm I'm distracting you. <laughs> the Ataris? Is a band called the Ataris? Yeah, there you go. Oh, I'm I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna no, talk. That's fine. It's badness. <laughs> there you go. But uh, I don't think they're punk. I think they're just rock. Uh, um, there's geek. Maybe there's a geeky punk band. Oh, I'm sure. No! <laughs> he shouldn't have been able to return that. Uh, I was on the edge of his racket. Cheaty, cheaty computer. <laughs> C70. I know I beat the computer on normal mode at least a handful of times at less oh. than 10 years old. I'm sure oh. you can do it. Um, yeah, I mean, probably with a lot of practice. Uh, there is a band called the Ataris. Is that what you were just talking about? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, no. No. Damn it. Deuce. <laughs> the D train, this looks like underwater mode. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. No. <laughs> Now I'm two up. Okay, yeah, back good, to normal. That's a good sign. Oh, no, that's not angly at all. There we go. Nice. Oh, Atari Teenage Riot. Yeah, they Atari were more... Riot. Um, Hardcore? No, 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 no. Hmm. Atari Teenage Riot was electronic, like techno. Oh, Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I had some compilation album back in the 90s. There we go. Uh, I remember them, yes. Yeah. Not well. Yeah. <laughs> apparently. Like I, I said, I had genre. definitely had some album with it. Oh, I don't on know. It. Why am I standing there? I should be moving mm. to the center again. Not standing at the side. That's not going to help at all. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh, See, baby. you can you can get them off a serve. It's pretty rare though. Usually it's pretty good. Oh look, you can. <laughs> I know how to do it. What you do is yeah. you lead them into set, hitting it to the right. You go to the right. Oh, that no, didn't yeah, you didn't well. quite angle it, but yeah. And then you angle it to the left because he's over at the right. Yeah. Noisy, thumpy people, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and that's ah, how you win it off a serve. Nice. So this is actually good practice. And that's how you win it off your serve. You hit it way over there, then you stay there, and you try an angle. That wasn't quite enough of an angle, though. The D-Train 37. I remember getting this game and being blown away by it. It is, it is really pretty good. impressive. And it, I mean, it, it seems so simple, but it, it really feels like playing tennis. <laughs> it does. Like, really feels like playing tennis, which is awesome. 
It is smooth. Very I do like smooth. the slow level too. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. It's good practice to, to yeah. get you used to. Um, well, that's what the damn it. that's what the instructions basically said. Yeah, it does. It helps you position the racket with your ball. RC seventy. I remember them, but I can't remember why I remember them. <laughs> yeah, I they were definitely on. I'm gonna say this again. They Something were on an album, like a big compilation probably album. Probably from a movie. There. Oh, were they on like Patch. Yay. like hackers or something? Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna look them up. Sorry. So that's oh, the bad waiter terrible. in the patch. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, this is way faster now. Wow. Oh cool. yeah. So you're gonna see if you can do it. But you did get the patch, hooray! Yeah. Technical. <laughs> yeah, this feels so much faster. German bands. German, really. It has helped. It has helped. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, now the players look like they're on speed. <laughs> yeah, they do it look does. a lot faster. They look really fast. Like too fast. That's awesome. Like their little legs are moving really quick. Standing still again. Stop standing still, assuming I'm going to get it. The Atari ST computer was used to create compositions. That's where the Atari comes from. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sick to Death is the song I remember. Okay. If you go to the song, it should that? say where it was on. Damn it. Digital hardcore. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that gabber that we listened to earlier. Come on. Don't know. I don't know what compilation albums have to have been included on. Have to go to Discogs. Yeah. Dot org. Search for that song. And come up with a million. RC70 says our Gasmo soundtrack. Yeah. Wasn't what I had. I I think I remember I, I had think one. That's gonna... I don't, I don't think earlier. it was from a movie, though. I think it might have been just yeah. like some... Yeah. It had an orange oh, cover. That's it. what I remember. You had the album? Yes. Or the compilation album? Yeah. It, it, not not of Atari Teenage Riot, but one of the songs on it was... What was that? Anyway. H4, good night to you too. Yeah, good night. P1IH4? <laughs> P1LH4? Is it I Phil? Know. I don't know. I don't know. He has never explained the phonetic pronunciation of his name, so. Despite us mangling it every time. <laughs> that you can do it and then not doing it 
Hmm. I have no idea. No, nope, nothing looks familiar here. No. Oh well. Oh my God. One more. They sound a lot like Prodigy. Mm -hmm. uh, I was into that stuff in high school. I guess I had a few things from Napster. Ah, <laughs> uh, Napster. Came out the year my university got T4 lines installed. I don't think there's anything such, such a thing as a T4. That's what they called it. T1. I've heard of T1s, T3s. Positive it was a T4. T4. No, it was it was Somebody like... look that up, T4. I'm positive. So that's what that they called it. You say that every time and I'm like... It's a T4 line. I don't know about T4. They rewired all of our residences with it. It's like four times the speed of a T1. Probably. And T1 was like one point something, 1.3 megabits per second. Which was very fast back then. Can you look that up? T4 connection speed. Grrr. Yeah, a T4 can carry 274.176 million bits per second. 274, okay. This type of line is used only by major corporations. They, but and, I'm telling and you. And schools. Yeah, and and it was, it, yeah, basically. Uh, T4, the ter Terminator time forgot. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it was like, they installed them in my third year of university, something like that, and and right around the time of Napster and suddenly everyone's hard drives were filled with music. <laughs> Magically. Magically. You could download really bad video too. Oh, video. Yeah, the, the, of like handheld video of, of movies and yeah. And viruses. And lots of viruses. Yeah. And what was that uh, buddy, the purple gorilla that people would install on their... <laughs> Bonsai buddy. Bonsai buddy. That was actually like a virus. And There's, you know, that... Um... Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm... You know that scam? <laughs> yes, yeah. You know that scammer yeah. YouTube... Uh... YouTube scammer thing I watched. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The guy messes with scammers online. Oh, yeah. He has great. Bonsai Buddy at the end of his videos. Oh, does he really? Peeking out of the corner. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I'm just getting worse. I'm trying to do that. Well, and we're talking about Bonsai Buddy. I can't remember you remember the name of it. I just remember the, the, the purple gorilla. Well, I remember the name of it because I was doing tech support at the time. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I know all about Bonsai Buddy and having to remove it. Because uh, silly people thinking purple gorillas are the best thing they could ever install on their computer. I don't know what it even did. It just hung around your screen. It danced on your screen. Um, lots of those things back then. Yeah, but I mean, they were novel. Sat around your they screen. were novel until people realized what they were, right? Like, yeah. like it's like, oh, oh, yeah, okay, this is a problem. <laughs> I wonder why it's free. Because mm. it advertises to you and steals things. Yes. He was, he was a, a cool Clippy. A cool yes, clip. he was. I liked Clippy. <laughs> I always felt bad for Clippy. Yeah. He got a lot of crap. I didn't dislike Clippy. I don't. I don't know. People Has hated ever, Clippy. Did he ever help you with anything? No, no, but I just thought he was kind of cute. I'm sure I just disabled him at some oh, point. Oh, three to one. Oh yeah, because he never really helped you. He just popped no. up. And yeah. Do you want help with this? No, I know how to use Microsoft <laughs> Word. Thank you very much. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't think I would get that. I didn't get that. Okay. I'll stop after this game. 
So you not getting any better. No. Sometimes you reach that uh, plateau. You did get your patch, so... Technically. Technically, you got the patch. You can always swing back around to this game at some point. Yeah. I, I know I can do this, but it's just... Oh, it's hard. <laughs> it's be so consistent. Oh. Mm. Do some running. <laughs> oh. Oh, you just need to do a little training. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, you're losing. And Careful. Done. You're done. Oh yeah. no. Yeah, I'm done. You're handing it to him on a platter. Don't yeah. do it. You can have it. Maybe take some it. dietary supplements. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, something uh... that helps with <laughs> helps with my tennis game. Yeah. There we go. Patch earned. <laughs> Yay! I can mark that one down as done. Yeah. Oh. Nice. How so. are you feeling? Exhausted? That was exhausting to watch. Um, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's not. It's not. I, I always feel like tennis not, looks exhausting. So <laughs> even if it's, it's not virtual that bad, tennis. it's just a little frustrating. Uh, it's frustrating. You were doing pretty good. I mean, when yeah. it was slowed down, you could hit those perfect shots. You could line them it up. It just. Better. It's just. I. I get why they have the slow mo levels so that you can kind of practice. You can understand then, how. It works. Then it can speed up a little. Yeah. 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 Well, this makes sense. Um. So well, we played uh, some some games today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some good ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some ones that maybe needed a little bit more cooking in the oven. Um, yeah. And some that just needed to be extended more. Yeah. Like Kirby. Great. Great idea. Kirby was great. A lot of good levels. concepts and yeah. maybe more more of the baddies on different different screens and things like that. Variety. But you can you yeah. can see where it could end up. You yeah, know, it's really, pretty cool. It's too bad he stopped and his, the movement on it. was good. Kirby's movement over the screens was really good, actually. Um, it, it needed that um, momentum in it. A little bit. That's what's missing in a lot of simplistic games mm. is momentum because it's it's like Moving left to right, like even the tennis is yeah. a binary. Yeah, you're either yeah. moving left or you're not. You're yeah. stopped. Yeah, and and some of the more refined games kind of slide. have that momentum yeah. that slows them down. Yeah. that really gives you fine control yeah. over it. Like even the like the tennis would be um, even better. Well, thank you very much, Dan AVC. Stay frosty. I was gonna say has that sliding oh, motion yeah. and and yeah. does does a really good job of that. really yeah. great job and you know it's a little bit more it's one more variable yeah to um because you have the speed up so say so you have your your velocity is at zero mm. you press to the right your velocity doesn't go to full no it adds slowly up to and then, to and a then maximum. ramps down yeah and then when you let go or turn left mm. it, it goes in the opposite direction yeah. so it's a little bit more calculations not much and I'm sure there's many, many examples on the Atari Age forums of the code mm. for acceleration. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not that much. Yeah, I did get the patch. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very however, much. However, however, with a bit of a technicality, but but it still works. I got it in <laughs> in game three, and and there's no saying you have to get it in game one. Yeah. Yeah. It technically it counts. technically counts. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> well, but it was still not I easy to it. get, but yes. No, it was still. Eh, there was, was still some still challenge, challenge to it. Yeah. Still some challenge. Yeah. yeah. Well, a little bit more practice. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we played Keep Away, which a little bit of tweaking would have made it a lot more fun. It's way too fast. So, I, yeah, zoom, I zoom, zoom, liked zoom. it. That's because I was winning. That's why you didn't like it as much. That's why. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> There's better two-player games. The purple, out the there. purple guy won. There's better two-player um, games like it, that. It out definitely there. is a little. It's twitchy and. You acceleration. Move, your acceleration is so fast. Just boom, boom, boom. And you're like, I'm trying to get in this little white square, and you're like dancing around the white square because you keep overshooting it. So, but it's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. that's another game that could uh, benefit a lot from acceleration. Yeah. 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 The sliding and yeah, but I, I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. And then the third Kirby. one is bombs away. That's what it's all covered. That was by, covered really, by really good. That that's was a an great amazing game. game. Yeah. Yeah. I really a lot of variation that. there. Yeah. Um, um, if we play multiplayer games, if we have another marathon, I think yeah. that one should be on there. I mean, it's for two. No, but it's cool because there are not a lot of games where counts. you can both play in the same game. Uh, you know? Co-op. Yeah. Like a co-op game. It's a co-op game. Think, I think it counts. I, wouldn't, I don't I think like it counts that. as a two-player. No? It, it, no? It's not It's not a two-player. Person player. against person. But I like, like if that. If we're going to have a, a 
another four player night. Yeah. Like, I would want games you play against each other. Yeah. Because then two of us can play, two of us, and then the winner. Yeah. Yeah. Because I do want to plan that to have uh, Darcy and Erlen and you and I mm. on another uh, night. Yeah. But it's all two player games. Two or four. Two or four. Yeah. It's not many four player games. Yeah. It's just Warlords and um, Medieval Mayhem, same thing. Mm. That's about it. I don't know if there's many other four player games right now. There will be when the Quadtari comes out. That's yeah. when I'm planning for it, is okay. the release of the Quadtari. Do we know gonna... when that's coming, or is that... It's almost done. Okay. But there's very few games Yeah, because they need it. to be developed for it, yeah. There there are a couple, so we will do it for when that night. When it gets night. released, okay. Yeah, when it gets released. Cool. So that's going to be a big show. Yeah. Um, and tennis, amazing. Really great game. Mm -hmm. I mean, most Activision games are, are incredible. Mm. Yeah, lots of fun. Charles Reese says, "Yeah, to yeah, some, to something, Ooh. maybe to the four no, player." No, you, no, your patch. You got your. Oh, to the patch. patch. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would like to see the official announcement of the patch rules, yeah. like the retroactive ones. Yeah, I'll have to look for that. I'm sure. I don't I'm know sure what, it exists somewhere. Like, where would they say that? I don't know. Where would they say, "Okay, tennis, tennis now has a, a patch." And this is how you get it. it I mean, Did they include it in old, newer games? Or, or maybe in old literature, like they have a magazine or, I don't know, some yeah. promotional material. But yeah, And there no, was an Atari true. Age magazine. Yeah, uh, RC70, a magazine. Yeah, that would make sense for yeah. that time period in a magazine somewhere. Yeah, so yeah. I'll look that up. I'll try mm. to remember to look that up and see where. Because mm. it must be a listing all at once of old games. Mm -hmm. um, maybe reissue of the games? A reissue of tennis like a later release of it would have an insert with it maybe possible four players tough so many variables and then having to make ai for non-players yeah because yeah. mm -hmm. if what if you want one person playing then you have three ais mm. trying to calculate what they're although i to suppose do. you could have like one in an ai a two-player game and a four-player game yeah, but... Like, you could develop it that way instead of having three and an AI or two and two. You like you, like Depends on the game. It's nice to round it out, but, I mean, it, you don't necessarily have to have to do that. Yeah, in Warlords, they could just be empty. I mean, in, I mean, in Medieval yeah. Mayhem, they, they yeah. could just be an empty thing, and yeah. no, it's just not keeping score of that person. Or you're just in the two corners or something, right? Like, yeah. like there are ways of doing that, but, but yeah, so it is tough. For the Quad Tari, there's a, mm. a tank one. And a joust one. Four player joust. Oh. And a four player tank game where you're all firing your tanks oh, at each other. Oh, Darcy will love that. The tank one, yeah. Yeah, doesn't he play? What is it? World of Tanks. World of Tanks. Yeah, yeah. he loves he loves. That tanks. stuff might be on Atari Mania. Yeah. Good the to look. Rules. I have to look it up. Yeah, I have to look it up. Or one of, if one of you guys can look it up as well, if you guys find it, mm. just message me anywhere, <laughs> all the places. <laughs> um,. And let me know, because that would be interesting to find out. Like, especially with tennis, is like, it says it on Atari Age, under the, the patch page on Atari Age. Mm. It just, just says, win against a computer. So, I did. But maybe in the original rules, it's like, win on game one against the computer. But they're pretty pretty complete there, um, when they list the requirements. Um, so, uh, that's it for tonight. I want to say thanks for everybody for tuning in. Um, the D Train 37, RC 7E, Arena Foot, Charles Reese, Dan AVC, uh, PH4. <laughs> mm -hmm. Unless you say otherwise, that's how I'm saying your name. PH4. Is it L or I? I, I it depends on the font. P1IH4. It's like, look at that I right there. That's an I. And P1 where's an L? H4. And that's an L. They're exactly feel, the same. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So it could be... Ill? Ill. Phil? Ill? Pill? P... Oh, how, how would you even say that either way? Ill. Pill? A, pill? I feel, like, I feel like there is a way to pronounce P it that we're just completely missing. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, completely missing. Arena Foot, Ice to uh, I think we said all these names. Spindly 1970. Uh, Ronster Official... Nice. Uh, Prow7. That's yeah. a new name. Welcome, Prow7. <laughs> Missed that one on the chat. Yeah. You're supposed to be watching the chat. I did. While I'm playing. I did. That was Looking early. Looking for new names. It was early. Oh, Nathan's Drum popped in as well. Oh, that's a new name as well. Hitch. Yeah. Welcome. Imagine playing that with the original controller. I'd, I'd have killed, killed my console. console. Yeah. Oh, I, I did read that out. Yeah, you did. Yeah, but yeah. But I yeah. didn't read the name. 
Uh, Melton Buddhist was in here as well. Mm -hmm. Coconut, Coconut 81. 81. So lots of people. Oh, and Master Blaster <laughs> snuck in at the very last second. <laughs> oh, oh Prow7 has been lurking. Spoke up. Slindley is militant. Slindley. Hmm. Um, well, oh, had to change. S is originally Slindley? <laughs> but Slindley, now you're Spindley? 1970. Oh, okay. Um, so the next uh, show is on Wednesday. Don't have anything scheduled for that. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Mm -hmm. um, who knows what crops up? There's lots in the archives, just like I dug in the archives today yeah. for a bunch of games. We can recount tales of our retro gaming night on the weekends. Oh, so, that's right. Yeah. yeah, that's happening. Why is everything French on the Tallermania? <laughs> Are you on the Quebec site? <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. And go to dot .com instead of dot .fr. <laughs> yeah, dot .fr. Yeah, our gaming night uh, is tomorrow night, so right after this we're going to clean up and put out yeah. some game systems. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, Exciting. put out some extra tables, get out the Commodore monitors, hook yes. them up. Yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, so we're back on Wednesday with Erlen. Mm -hmm. And then Darcy on the Friday. Yep, and then Darcy on the Friday. Excellent. I don't know if he's coming tomorrow to the gaming. Uh, I think so. Yeah, his wife said she's coming too. Yeah. So I think they're both going to be here. I, we should we should try to do a little stream or something, if we yeah. can make it work. Well, it'd have to be down here, and nothing's down here. Are you moving everything upstairs? Down. All the game systems, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'll it's figure something out. Pain no, in the too ass. much work. Aww. It's a pain in the ass doing that. <laughs> I have to like my I computer has to stream. It. Then then I'd have to use your computer and bring things up, and some people might not want to be on stream. No, no, I'm not saying everyone. I'm just... The yeah, stream room. Anyway. I'm already... Put a little warning on the yeah. door there saying... You We're will, streaming live. You are record being recorded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe next year. Yeah. Yeah. We'll That'd see. That'd be kind of fun. I have enough to set up. I don't even know if I'm going to get it all done in time. So. That's, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, so thanks uh, for tuning in, everybody watching it live. And thanks, everybody on YouTube for watching it afterwards. Yeah. And uh, yeah. thank you for joining us. Lots of fun. It's always fun playing usual. playing games with you guys. And discovering uh, new games that yeah. we haven't played before. And getting patches. And getting patches. Even if it's through technicality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lots more patches to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and lots of ones I failed to get. Yeah, some of them are but really one, challenging. One so. more down. Yeah. I think there's 40 total. I probably wow. have around. 10 to 15 10 10 now you should be keeping track so, i don't know yeah i'll yeah maybe i should put them up patches are in somewhere yeah. um because i am keeping track on the big list yeah okay um, of when i play it i say patch earned okay and i put my score and you don't say horrible failure now <laughs> no. i say i, I <laughs> put joking. my i put my score when i fail. oh i see so i know how close you know how I close got. you got yeah, yeah. i'm just so i'm I, teasing i'm teasing yeah, yeah. so many patches so, so few vectrex <laughs> Yeah, well, Vectrex is fun, but we'll be playing Vectrex tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some games. Yay, Get out Vectrex. my multi carts. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well, good night, and we'll see you on Wednesday with Erlen. Bye bye. bye.